get it going. I want to be the greatest energy is overflowing. I know I'm stoking the fire. My desire's taking over. Uh, not tired. I'm inspired. Rewired. I know just what is required. My brain knows how to decide. So the message is looking brighter. Already paid up the fight, but my game is getting much tighter. I feel my body on fire. Uh, now it's game time. All the practice to prepare for this main time. I could do anything. That's my baseline. Go ahead and do you. I'ma make mine. You gon' read me in the headlines Always go up, I don't know a decline On the glow up, getting better with time Yeah, I'm about to hit my prime The air is filled up with suspense We've got our dreams we must affect I'm not gonna lie here. It feels like it's been way longer than a fucking week since Annihilation. I'm not gonna lie. It always feels like that with PXZ, but goddamn, I'm so glad that PXZ always comes down at once a week. And, uh, holy crap, this is gonna be, uh, one week early anniversary of PXZ. Why? Because next week, um, there's not really gonna be a lot of title matches like there is tonight, but then also, uh, we're not really gonna hit the actual birth date of PXZ. So with that said, we're doing it early tonight, and that's why there's a shit ton of championship matches, but also because issues that happen at Annihilation. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to PXT. We have an action-packed show here tonight, especially with uh, something that uh, didn't expect to happen, but it was very last minute, so I'm uh, going to explain something that's happened just recently. If you guys are not in our Discord server, you guys did not see the news, that Mason Dixon has decided to relinquish the U.S. Championship. Uh, reason being is because when, after the show, after he defended it against Adonis, uh, we did say he would have to defend it two times, which would be, well not two times, he had to defend two championships in two separate matches. So he would have to be in a match for the US title and he would have to be in a match for the PXD World Heavyweight Championship. He did not like this idea. So, uh, instead of fighting it, because there was really not a lot that we could do about it, uh, we came to a conclusion that if he would like, he can actually relinquish the championship if he would like to focus purely on the actual world title. And sure enough, he agreed to it. Now, with that said, uh, there was a comment that he did say. Also, disclaimer, breaking fourth wall. I wrote this. It wasn't actually from uh, his creator. The U.S. title holds no special place for me, and it gives the chance for the locker room to win the You Can't Beat Mason championship. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it will be in a 10-man gauntlet eliminator match to crown a new PXT United States champion. Now, who's in the match? That is an excellent question. We're going to find out later. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start off with actually correcting a big mistake that happened at Annihilation. So, that's the wrong goddamn button. <laughs> So, uh, there was a mistake that happened at Annihilation to where, uh, the slots that originally ha were set for the Annihilation matches did not actually get represented correctly because Arthur, who, <laughs> no, is still in the hospital, by the way, um, Arthur uses creative control to manipulate those matches to where the champions were in pods, when both champions in both matches were not supposed to be in pods. So with that said, because uh, the dog actually retained the championship due to this change, uh, we decided to give him technically uh, disciplinary action with it. So tonight he's actually going to be going against the person that he stole his spot, which in this case was none other than Smooth Marino, and another random opponent, which was luckily picked, and it was picked as Abcold. So tonight the dog will be defending the TikTok Championship against Smooth Marino and Abcold in a triple threat match. They, I just realized they fix it. No, they didn't. <laughs> I was like, they fix it. No, because it still covers up the fucking thing. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to PXT. It is time to see a returning, I want to point out, Abcol. We have not seen Abcol in goddamn a minute, actually. It's been a while since we've seen Abcol. 
Alco was one of the very first signees of PXT. He was technically one of the uh, ones, like I said, just plain up starting our show entirely. He came close to becoming the inaugural PXT champion, going one on one against Rodrigo, but he came up short due to a big ass body splash from the Blue Menace. Ever since then, Alco has actually went to win the Hardcore Championship. Didn't hold it long, but he did win the title. Could tonight, could tonight be him making history? Because here's the thing. No one has held the Hardcore Championship and the TikTok Championship uh, in their careers. Otherwise, they don't have them both in their actual repertoire. So this is going to be very interesting to see what happens in this case. Hey, at least we don't have to deal with Arthur's control anymore. That is true. Arthur's uh, creative control is uh, gone for all humanity and time since uh, Jamari completely obliterated him. But when we speak of Jamari, we gotta talk about the man that brought life to him as well. Well, him and his wife. But either way, Smooth Marino. Honestly, I think Smooth had the highest chance to win the Annihilation match if the slots were correct. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I did. He was. I don't think he was my pick, but I was thinking he was a good contender for it. But the thing is. The slots were changed last minute. They were not correct. Even when we tried fixing it, <laughs> apparently Arthur threw out the fucking contract. It was like, create control, bitch. And I could not do anything about it. So tonight, that is why the dog will be defending the TikTok Championship in a triple threat match against the man he stole his spot and against a random opponent. That is how the TikTok Championship and the Hardcore Championship work. Both those titles, when they are defended, it is always going to be a random opponent. And now another thing. Can Smooth hold the TikTok Championship and be one step closer in becoming the first ever Grand Slam of PXT? We have a lot of people that have opportunities to become Grand Slams. The question is, who's going to be the first? Now coming in the TikTok champion himself. Now, no, all the only info we have of the dog so far is that he was in WWE for 16 years. We have no records of him actually winning gold or anything like that. Reno needs to win this. Honestly, I think so too. This would be fucking huge for Moreno if he actually wins it. Moo Moreno! 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 Mori uh, God damn it, this is gonna fuck me up. <laughs> Smooth needs this! <laughs> now, the thing is, we've seen the dog in action. We've seen him in one on one, we've seen him in multi mans. He is an exceptional fighter. He knows how to counter everything his opponents throw at him, and he knows how to keep the control of the match. He knows how to just make it work for him. But now he's going against a hard hitter like Smooth and a very technical fighter like Abko. So that's why I'm a little skeptical to see him actually winning the title. I don't know if it'll allow me to name everybody, but I'll try my best. The ring announcer, or is he just going to hold the title? Uh... I'm gonna see if it lets me do the animation. No, it's not. That's what it's for, ladies and gentlemen. It is for the TikTok Championship. Can Abkul pick up the win? Or will Smooth correct a mistake that happened in Annihilation? Or will the dog successfully defend the championship again? We have not seen a successful title defense for the TikTok title since Gen X. It's been a little hot potato. The dog, though, has been an exceptional champion. And as I was saying before, him being so good at reversing, but Smooth knows it. Oh, okay, big miss from Abko. Dog missing the last kick, hitting Abko instead. And now Smooth's taking advantage of it. And oh, god damn, Smooth draws both the dog and Abko. And thinking that's enough, but the dog breaking it up. The Abko returns with the Brotherhood as well. So this is where it's... A little interesting to see what happens. Alcohol trying to take advantage. Smooth not going to have it. The dog taking advantage. Uh, honestly, at this point, it just feels like Abko's just there. It doesn't feel like he's doing anything. Oh, never mind. I'm wrong. Ripcord knee straight to the skull of the dog. Big punch of the dog. And now the dog 
They're getting double team right now, but right now, smooth. God damn. Here we go, it's fair match, but oh, comes in with an inverted neckbreaker, and now a guillotine chokehold on Apko. Oh my god, Apko picking up the dog and dropping him. Not completely like on the mat, the dog catching himself. Oh, going under. And oh, beautiful maneuver. Oh, smooth coming in with the weapon. The dog quickly getting out of there. Oh, big suicide dive. If this is regular wrestling, everybody would be down right now, but computers stuck dumb. <laughs> but Smooth taking advantage of the triple threat rules where there is no DQs, which means weapons are allowed. Oh, big dropkick from the dog. Honestly, oh, big rip. Big code breaker and Apple saving the match for now. I was going to call it a ripcord for some reason, but nah, it's a code breaker. Ooh. Apple focusing on the knee of the dog. Not a bad idea. And now comes in. Oh. Oh, Apple showing off a little. Trying to work the neck. Oh, misses the jumping clothesline. Apple, though, still fighting. Oh, wait. Oh, beautiful maneuver from Apple. Still fighting, still going, surprisingly. Ooh. Went to the arm and now the dog looking. Take advantage. Catches this Abkul off his game a little bit. And now get. Oh shit. Oh, now caught a tree of woe. What's the. Oh! Oh! God damn. I'm telling you. Smooth is thinking smart. He knows the target, the dog. He's thinking smart, but Abkul. Oh shit! Was that. Was that the. That was a spinning knee shot. Not enough to drop him though. Oh, goddamn heavy knee shot! Straight to the skull! Can Abko retain the TikTok championship here? No! Smooth kicks out! Oh my god, that was close. That was a 2.9 kick out. Abko fucking kicking it into next gear here. Holy shit! Taking the dog and Smooth out simultaneously, practically. Holy crap! But the dog, though, looking to claim back control of the match. Oh, and again, trying to set up sign with the tree of woe. Not getting another jumping knee lift from Abko. Abko, former hardcore champion, never held the TikTok title for his own. Can he make history by being the first man to hold not just the hardcore title, but the TikTok championship as well? Oh, Kendall st throws straight to the face. Now Smooth's getting the dog in the corner. And now this is again what I want to point out. Smooth knows what he needs to focus on. In this case, it's the champion. He knows the champion needs to go down. Oh, that was a weird fucking... <laughs> that was a weird sell, but you know what? It works. Smooth, though. They're going to capitalize. Abco, though, not going to have it. I don't know what Apple's going to go for. Apple getting Smooth up. Smooth, though. Not going to allow Apple to capitalize on that. But neither is Apple to Smooth. Not going to allow him to take control of the match. And now, oh, straight to the spine. And now the dog coming back out and drops both challengers. Oh, go straight for the pin. Apple stopping it, though. Apple so far is the only one to have. Oh, misses the springboard kick. Uh oh, and now, no. Apple reverses dog days. Now he gets him. Oh, big drop kick. Dog. Oh, okay, okay. That was a, <laughs> that was a maneuver. Oh, misses the big kick. Ab calls out. And now, could we be seeing? Yeah, no. Smooth reverses. Smooth's daughter was able to pick up the PXC Intercontinental Women's Championship. Can Smooth do the same as his daughter? Can he pick up a championship here tonight? Uh oh. Ab Cole getting Smooth into the corner. I think he was trying to go for an old-fashioned mind sweep. Not going to get it. Smooth. Oh! T-K-O! Is that it? For the championship. One, two, no! Apple kicks out. Apple kicks out. Now the dog taking advantage of... Ooh, a distracted Smooth. Smooth was trying to react a little bit to Apple kicking out. And now the dog's busted open. Both dog and Smooth are busted open. Oh! Oh, oh, another code breaker. And Apple immediately knows to stop the pin. And now, oh, heavy knee lift. Is that it? 
One, two. No, the dog kicks out once again. Ekwats move, you need another title. You can't get screwed out of this. Ooh, big elbow shot. Also, I want to point out, maybe Smooth's thinking to probably oh, punish Abko because Abko is the brother of Electro. And so far, Smooth's been calling Electro out, but now goes with the pin. One, two. No, the dog still kicks out. Smooth wants to drop the dog. He wants to drop him in this match. Oh, big right. And now. Oh. That was the dog, Ben. And now the dog looking to drop Abko in this match. Oh, now there's a repair on Abko. Interesting. One, two, no. Honestly, he should have went straight for Smooth. If he went for Smooth, that would have been it. Oh, big maneuver there from Smooth. Smooth now stopping. I was going to say Electro. Stopping Abko. Can't Smooth put down. Abko, no, Abko, still fighting. Oh, big shot there. Oh, big snap suplex from Abko. Abko coming in with his own running knee list. And now, oh, god damn, straight to the skull of the dog. Dog, though, coming in quick. Coming in fast with kicks. Dog getting Abko up. Abko, though, not going to allow it. shot from Smooth, but no! That might have set up for, oh, dog bid! Is that it? One, two, three, and the dog retains the TikTok championship. Damn! Okay, I gotta give props to the dog. So far, becoming a hell of a dominant TikTok champion. Holy shit. Not only surviving Abko, not only dropping smooth, but holy shit, just defying all odds, dude. The dog has been fucking nuts. Now, uh, I believe. Oh, wait, what's this? I has the wrong one. Boop. Ah, also wrong one. What is going on with our stuff today? What the? Okay, cool. Everything's off. Awesome. Great. Smooth Marino. <laughs> You've been calling me out again. Because you cannot live to accept your own failures. For everyone wondering who the hell's talking right now because you're all thinking, oh, it's just Cyclone. No, this is yours, Triple Crown Champion Electrobe! <laughs> or should I say former? That's the difference between me and you, Smooth. I can accept the outcome and I can move the hell on. You, though, have been calling me out. You've been wanting some rematch. Hell, you've been even trying to get your son involved. Or correction, your son wants to handle the likes of me. The man that dropped you with just a suicide dive. But I will give you this. You at least took some notes. You've adapted. You've evolved into the world of wrestling because you're a former MMA fighter and I showed you that that's not enough to take down me so if you want it again smooth you want round two of you being humiliated at bio war you got it Also, Abko, good to see you still misfit. Can you turn? Can y'all turn my camera back on now, please? <laughs> please. The audio went out. Hello. Yeah. And turn my shit back on. Hello. Okay. Cool. Cool. Why, why does that always happen with promos? Why do y'all just try to fuck up my shit? 
dicks. Whatever. All right. Well, it looks like uh, look like Smooth's getting what he's been uh, calling out. For people who don't know, uh, I will go ahead and just the actual things too in the promo chat. Uh, recently, Smooth has been calling out Electro a little bit, pretty much wanting a rematch. The man, and fun. but he has pretty much been calling him out, and it looks like Electro finally uh, wasting it. And yeah, Jamari has also thrown it out there too, because he's been saying he's clearly hiding from his father um, and everything. And now Jamari, uh, heck, almost <laughs> almost went at it with him. So I guess if anything, we're going to have to wait and see uh, the type of stipulation that's going to be. Here it is. Uh, Electro, you see the sneaker way with a win every time, except Mason. Unlike you, I actually won a dominating performance at Operation against a and that would wipe the floor with you, Mr. C. Jill. If you ask me, he hasn't been the same since. Don't take this walk with me. The hell. Oh, it looks like, uh, it. It looks like that was Electro's response to it. So, yep. And this guy's back. How you do? All rise for the death re. <laughs> what the I don't know what that is, but either way, uh, we're going to continue with the show tonight. We're going to see what we can do with that. Can't wait to see one of my favorite superstars tonight. Honestly, because uh, speak of the devil. Um, so, because the Syndicate failed to pick up the championship, because, well, I mean, it was the Jeffries dominating the match, but then also the Brotherhood were outside, also making a little bit of havoc there. Um, we decided not to, like, give them another opportunity fairly. But not fairly. We, we didn't give them another opportunity just straight away. Like, oh, they're going to be fighting again at what's it called. No. In other words, they're going to have to earn it. Same thing with the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood attacked the Jeffries after the match, claiming that they want all the gold. Heck, that was sort of why, I guess, it was sort of perfect for Apple to, like, try as hard as he can. Which, honestly, Apple came with a whole new arsenal. He was coming in with heavy knee lifts and everything. I was like, holy shit. Um, so tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be seeing the Brotherhood in action. As far as I know, it is none other than Zion and Jake Lawler of the Brotherhood going against the team of Franchise and CGM. If I'm correct, they are calling themselves the Commissioners. I would sh well, okay. Oh, the Tentacle, but is that blue? It's supposed to be purple, goddammit. It's supposed to be fucking purple. But yeah, so whoever wins this will go on to technically the finals. Uh, in other words, in two weeks, we'll have a number one contendership match between the two winning tag teams for this week and next week. So this week, it is the Brotherhood against the Commissioners to see who will be going into that number one contendership match for the tag team championships. Now, I do also want to point out something. This is the first time. Why is it pinky? Why is his hair pink? Because digital codes do not load in. Yes, I'm going to call this out right now. I'm bringing the fourth wall. Ignore the goddamn pink because it is just because the code is fucked. <laughs> it did this last year with some of the guys. It did it this year with him. And we're a little upset about it. We're going to see what we can do to like fix it. But well, that's it. Uh, this is interesting because we saw Zion compete against Cassidy at Annihilation, and holy shit, he fucking dismantled the man. We have seen Cassidy full on get full on crazy when he gets busted open, when he gets pushed to the wall. He pushes the fuck back, and he prevails most of the time. Zion made him look green. So this is an interesting team up to where it is Lawler against, well, the commissioners, correct, I gotta correct myself. It is Lawler teaming up with Zion because Lawler has history of working with Giants before and hell, they turned out to be a good tag team. They just never were able to pick up the opportunity. Can't and I change though. Oh wait, what? what's going on? Okay, I was about to say the movie's not playing, but there they are. It is Franchise and CGM, the Commissioners, coming in. 
They are a newly formed tag team, and we're going to be seeing that the God has risen again. Yes, he has. Hello, Preston. Welcome to the show. You just came in on the, the first qualifier for the double contendership for the tag team championships. It is between the Brotherhood against the Commissioners. A top hat. Hell yeah. It should see how this goes for them, because honestly, Franchise and CGM had good matches at Annihilation, but they did fail to pick up both championships. Could tonight change? Could tonight they be right then? Right there? Oh, God. Franchise starting against Zion. Oh, God. Franchise fuck him up. All right, here we go. Zion starting off. Even Franchise. Zion tossing him. Oh, to the corner. Okay, good. Franchise... I guess taking notes on Zion, realizing that his feet are fucking dangerous. Lily dodges out of the way, gets him with a gut shot, and is like, fuck it. <laughs> tags in, tags in CGM immediately. I think Franchise is realizing that he's going to need a lot more firepower, and CGM is very explosive with his movesets. So it might capitalize in this, oh, big springboard disaster kick right there. Drops Zion. And now, oh, big suplex right there, and, oh, God, okay, into a leg drop. Throwing Zion off for a loop for right now. There it is, CGM really holding off. Zion, we were hyping him up a little bit, but right now, yeah, the commissioner's really making Zion, oh, look green as hell right now. Why is wrong with you? Why are you pink like a baby mat? God damn it. <laughs> this, is, this is gonna just be going on constantly. It's the code. The code is fucked up. We gotta fix it. Oh, god, god damn! Big ass drop kick from a giant. Oh, it looked like Zion wanted franchise. Oh, not getting it. Okay, thrown off. And now CGM going for a pin, looking to drop Zion and the Brotherhood out of this small tourney we're having for number contendership. All right, I think CGM did enough damage. Now Franchise is looking to capitalize, but oh god! Was Zion just playing possum this entire time? Was he just wanting Franchise? Was he just wanting Franchise the whole time? All right, yeah, we are gonna have to like go into the creative and probably f we're probably gonna make him bald again. We can't give him small hair because apparently the code gets fucked up. I don't know what it is. Ooh, Zion was trying to take advantage. Probably trying to tag in Lawler. Not getting it though. And now franchise. Oh, coming in with a series of kicks. Oh shit. Oh, oh! Zion was able to stand, but doesn't get the advantage. Franchise catching him off guard. And now, oh, now Lutler is tagged in. Self proclaimed God of PXC is now in, but franchise catching him off guard. And now Franchise looks to get Lawler into their corner. Lawler, though, fighting back. I don't want my dad to win. <laughs> it's an inside joke with me and Mufasa. Gotcha. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Ooh. Big Snake Eyes in the corner. Lawler drops Franchise. Lawler, one of the original OGs of PXC. He is one of the first three signees of PXC. He's... The people that lay the foundation for everybody else coming in. I don't know what. I don't know what. I think Lawler was just basking in his glory there, and it looks like it's costing him now. Now, oh, drops some knee first, and right now, yeah, right now the Brotherhood struggling against the Commissioners. Oh wait, oh, okay, big knee lift from Lawler. And now, oh, big ripcord knee drops CGM. And uh, right now, I think the Brotherhood needs to do a lot to capitalize in this match. Oh, wait, what's going on? Oh, shit! Franchise playing a little dirty, trying to make sure that they pick up the win here tonight. All right, Lawler trying to get CGM into the corner. And it looks like now we're going to see some tag team action from the Brotherhood. A big, oh, oh my god! How is his back fine? How is his back fine? 
That's a fucking 600 pound man. Not really. <laughs> no, I believe if I'm correct, is he weighs 430 something pounds. He's fucking huge though. <laughs> oh shit! Hence why I'm impressed. Cam is able to lift him up with ease. Ooh. Oh, misses. Oh, misses both kicks right there. I was gonna say, Zion trying to come in. Oh, shit! Beautiful maneuver and drops him back first. Now, oh, shit. Oh, God. Bust open Zion and CGM already playing a little dirty. Well, not even dirty, more disrespectful, really. And oh, shit, big shoulder tackle. Oh, and Zion. <laughs> I guess Zion has a... <laughs> wants franchise, most of all. I think he doesn't even care for CGM. He just keeps on trying to target his ass. Oh, goes under. Goes over. And a rolling stunner right there. Is that it? One, no, doesn't even get a one count. Lawler there to save the match. But no, that could be it. That could be the end of this. Oh no, Zion. Fighting back. And now, oh! Jumping! Heel kick! Oh my god! Let me heel kick! Jumping super kick! Oh no! But a big jump kick! Oh, straight to the face! Oh. Zion. Oh god. Oh god. Zion, oh my god, the Zion slam. Is that at the foot cam at one, two, no. CGM still going. God damn, holy fuck. Big explosive moves, because that turned the tides of this match though. That's the question. Oh, because holy shit, that was enough to drop. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, I think we're about to see something new from Lawler. I'm surprised we didn't see the godly law. Oh, now CGM. Oh, CGM trying to get him, trying to get Lawler into the corner. Oh, he's trying to go for a form. Doesn't get it. CGM again. Trying to capitalize. Trying to get him in the corner. Honestly, I think the ref fucked it up there. I think the ref fucked up CGM there. And now comes in with quick successions of shots. And oh my god, kick straight to the skull of CGM. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, did they. They call that. Oh! I think Franchise was welcoming the challenge. On oh, Zion, now on the outside. Oh! Was focusing on CGM! I think that's how Zion... Oh, wait, what the fuck? Oh, I, think... <laughs> I think Franchise fucked up CGM! I think I accidentally hit CGM by mistake! Oh, shit! Gut shot into the steel steps. Zion gonna go for... Okay, okay. I, I actually don't know what's going on. Oh, they're not going to win like this, are they? Big gun rich suplex from Zion to Franchise. Oh my god, are they actually going to win like this? Oh, shit. Oh god, it looks like it's going to win. No way, Franchise! Franchise makes it back! Oh! The oh, shit, fuck the world! Fuck the world, me! One! No! Lawler there to save it! Oh my god! That was fuck the world me from Franchise. Franchise going to the top! Why is Zion up? Wants Zion up! And now! Oh! Misses it though! Wait, what's Zion? Wait, what is Zion doing? I actually don't know what Zion was doing there. Oh, I uh, okay. <laughs> I think Zion might be dazed. I don't know because I don't know what he's doing. I generally don't know what he's doing. Gets thrown to the. Okay, goes under. Goes over. What's franchise planning here? Oh, big maneuver. Another knee straight to the skull of Zion. And now, why to put? Oh, goddamn. 
Pinky, guys, guys, stop, mess stop making fun of the pink stuff. It's just a code. It's a code issue. Oh. Now coming in strong. Oh, big leg sweep right there. Drops Zion. Oh, Zion, though, not going to take it. And Zion now tags in Lawler. Oh. Lawler catching CGM off guard and oh! Oh, Fisherman hooks into a pin. No, doesn't get it. I think he was trying to try to get a quick pin off CGM. Oh shit. What is the face there? What's Lawler gonna go for here? And Lawler again with the quick shot straight to the skull of CGM. Oh. CGM, okay, CGM getting out of it. Boom, big rip cord knee, straight to the skull. Oh shit, Lawler though, fucking, god damn, no selling like a bitch. Oh, big DDT there. Is that enough to keep Lawler down? I do want to say, Lawler is technically a bit more fresh than Zion. I do want to say that. But honestly, I feel the same thing with Franchise. I feel like Franchise for the Commissioners is a little bit more fresh than Cam is. Or CGM, my bad. So you, I saw you saying Cam. <laughs> oh. That's thrown over the top of his head. Lawler in critical danger right now. Oh, dropped. Straight up drop. And I think CGM thinking he just laid the foundation for franchise. Oh, misses the kick. And now. Oh, shit. Big maneuver there. And what is franchise? Oh, god, god damn. Fucking up the arm of the self-proclaimed god of Pixie. Okay, get out of the way. The franchise, though, not going to have it. Franchise, though. Oh, no. Franchise not able to capitalize. Oh. Oh, also not able to get in. Now gets hit with a big clothesline. Lawler rolling outside. Franchise coming in with a high risk. Oh! High risk maneuver because it can backfire and it just sort of did. Lawler now claiming the upper hand. Now the question is can they win like this? I think the Brotherhood probably looking for an easy win here. Oh, wait, what's, oh wait, what's Lawler going for? Lawler. I don't know what Lawler was going for there, but oh, gets kind of big. Clothesline, straight to the face. Count of seven. Got straight to the face. Slow good. Count of eight. Count of nine. Oh my God, it ended in a draw. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got our first draw of PXT. <laughs> uh, sadly, I, I don't think we got time to fucking rematch it. Oh my god, we finally had a first draw here in PXT. Oh my god. I gotta, I gotta figure out what we gotta do here. I gotta figure out what we gotta do here. Because here's the thing, if we rematch it, that means it completely starts over in what's it called. And sadly, they already pressed back. So in other words, we can't rematch it now. Um, so. Shit. <laughs> Zion, Lawler, Franchise, DGM. We need, we're going we're gonna to have to think about what to do. It was a good match, but honestly, that makes it even better too. <laughs> that makes it even better too, as well, because it's like that's how much both men want it. That's fucking crazy. Oh no, I want to defend against two teams, JK. I will. I mean, here's the thing: because we gotta see how it goes next week. Three, there might, it might be, it might be, it actually might be. But I gotta see what happens with the other team. So uh, I guess if anything, we're gonna have to see what happens next week. Um, with this, because holy fuck, uh, I, I'll be honest with you, I, I did not expect this. I expected a one, two, three. Uh, fuck. Shit. <laughs> this
This is the beauty of PXT, ladies and gentlemen. Anything fucking happens and we have to improv like a motherfucker. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, uh, I mean, I can't really say congratulations to either team or congratulations to both teams just having a fucking banger of a match. But, uh, goddamn, uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens, see what we can do about that, because holy shit. Uh, can, are we able to do, like, a triple threat tag team match? If we are, shit. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. But either way, with that said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, so, at Annihilation last week, at Annihilation, uh, we did have Sky Violet go against Emily because they were the team that won the bond match for an opportunity at Alexia Menezes' PXC Women's Championship. Sky Violet came out on top. Now, to everyone's disarray, because everybody was going for Emily for a bit because holy shit, Emily was making a fucking comeback. Um, she did come up short. Though, with that said, uh, tonight. <coughs> oh, fuck, excuse me. So with that said tonight, uh, Sky wants to show everybody, everybody, what she's made of. So she has issued a challenge to who she thinks will challenge her the most over Emily. And she chose none other than Julia Justice. Now, I'm actually excited to see how this goes. Because Julia when Cornell a couple weeks back tore the fucking house down on showcasing what the women's division can bring to PXT. They tore the goddamn house down. So already, them two whew, raising a bar. Now, could we see that again here tonight? Because honestly, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm, I'm, I've sort of turned into a Julia Justice fan because holy shit, she has really raised the bar of what uh, the women here in PXT can do. Her, Maggie Anderson, uh, hell, Jimenez, obviously, Ava Moreno, so many names in the women's division that have raised the bar so goddamn high. And I am so excited to say that we got a lot of women's action here tonight. But right now, we're starting off with Sky Violet going one-on-one -on -one against Julia Justice. Acknowledge the triple threat. I do not know what you're talking about. Oh, are we talking about tag match? It would be. Honestly, I think that's what we might do. I need to see what happens, because here's the thing. There's still two other teams next week fighting, and if this happens again, we might have to have a fucking fatal four-way tag team match. That's what I'm saying. It's gonna get interesting here. We're gonna have to wait and see what happens with that, but right now, holy fuck. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, right now, Sky Violet, the winner, not of just the bomb match, but the winner at Annihilation to pick up the number one contendership shot at Alexia Jimenez, this title. This is gonna be fucking huge for her because she has, she is an exceptional striker. She almost fucking let her ego get the best of her and almost lost against Emily, of all people. Or way you say, it could be, it could be, it could be, it could be a fucking tag team fatal four way match. It literally could be, it'd be fucking nuts. It would generally be fucking nuts. But we, like I said, we gotta see what happens next week. Cause next week it is actually gonna be uh, the Syndicate going against Domination. That's right. Titan has been medically cleared to compete once again. So in other words, next week it is. It is Syndicate against Domination, and I'm curious to see what happens on that one. There she is, Julia Justice. Again, not gonna lie, I became a bit of a fan of Julia Justice because holy shit, she has raised a goddamn bar here. Because goddamn, I was going for her with Cornell. At first, I was going for Cornell, but then those two were tearing up the house. I was literally thinking, Justice got this shit. So I became a bit of a fan. I became a bit of a fan. We'll wait. We'll have to see if how she can possibly drop Sky. Maybe earn herself a future opportunity at either, hell, the Intercontinental or, hell, the main gold itself. But I can see her being a champion soon here in PXT. Now, that's it. That's a, that's a lot of women in the division, actually. But here it is. Sky Violet, Julia Justice starting off the women's division's part here. And, okay, Sky already coming in straight off the bat. Oh, with a package suplex right there. And already coming in. Oh, how with a springboard. Does it connect? Justice... 
Catching it. And now, oh, big clothesline into the corner, dropping Violet. Justice trying to... Oh, was trying to get an upper hand. Oh, and a little, a little bit of a tease there. Gets it with her uppercut. Justice was knocked out against Cornell because of a damn uppercut. That's how she wasn't able to qualify for the Annihilation match for the PXC Intercontinental Championship. But now, can she actually... Holy shit, coming in with heavy knee shots straight to the gut of Sky Violet. Sky, though, not holding anything back. Oh, Julia, though, taking advantage. And Sky is tossed outside of the ring. Sky's down already. Holy shit. Uh, where, Rocky? <laughs> That oh, was a Daniel Bryan thing. Oh. You caught it in 4K. Da -da -da. Goddamn justice. This is what I was talking about. Justice has it in her to give a goddamn challenge to the women's division. The thing is that stopping her is being able to pick up the win, to follow through all her offense. That's what she's been lacking. Can't I change that, though. Hell is that triple threat? Oh my god, no! <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh! Okay, coming in with suplex into a ripcord clothesline! And Justice drops! Sky, is that enough? One! No! Oh god, only gets a one count off Sky and Justice. I think feeling a little frustrated now. Oh, big kick straight to the spine! Oh, Violet though, looking to capitalize, looking to come back in this match. Ooh, now attacking the legs. Oh, correction, the knee of Julia Justice. Not a bad idea. It takes away a little bit of her striking. Honestly, I would say focus on the arms of Justice a little bit more. I don't know what Sky was doing there. Sky coming in with a... Oh, beautiful springboard dropkick. Dropping Justice. Again, a little weird how she flies a little bit. Oh, Justice not going to allow Sky to capitalize any further. Can Justice follow through and pick up a win against Sky Violet, the number one contender? Now, note, this could put her in talks of possibly title opportunities. So this could be huge for her if she picks up a win. Oh, big kick straight to the skull of Violet. And now, oh, goddamn big knee shot. My God, Justice not holding anything back against the number one contender. Oh, Justice getting her up, and now, oh, big, well round knee, I don't know what to call it, one, two, no, gets a two count off Violet, nothing else, I see if I can make a poll on the Discord, that would actually be pretty sick if we could, oh, oh, god, da god damn, quick roundhouse drops Justice, not out of the match though, Justice still going, and now Violet picking up. Oh, no. Doesn't get it, and now there it is. Justice coming back at it. Not going to allow Violet to capitalize any further. Comes in with a springboard forearm. Drops Violet down. Justice is claiming control back in the match. Oh, Justice going to the top. Can Justice capitalize? Oh, she's calling her shot. She's calling her shot. Oh, big top rope kick straight to the skull of Violet. Violet not rolling out. I don't know what Justice is going for. Oh, Justice missing the big boot. Violet catching it. Justice down. Violet, I don't know what she's... Violet eyeing Justice for a bit. Oh, misses the maneuver. Oh, another. Oh, goddamn. Spin me from Julia Justice. One, two, no. Violet still kicks out. Kick by Justice. Uh, I'm debating on calling it the Justice Knee. Uh oh, oh, a headlock. Is that it? No, Justice not gonna be choked out here tonight. Oh, big shots, big strikes. Justice not holding anything back. Oh my God. Sends Violet to the ropes, goes under. Oh, was trying to go with something big. Sky though, fighting back. And another roundhouse! Dropping Justice, is that it to drop her out of the match? 
And yes, it is. Violet picking up a win, honestly. Desperate. It was a hell of a desperate type of win. But holy shit. Oh, wait, what's this? Wait, what? Your man is. Oh, with a kendo. What the hell? Oh my god, and drop sky. Your man is talking a lot of shit right now. Oh, it's oh it's not done. Uh oh, god damn it. Cornell's coming in with a chair. God damn it. People don't know before operation happened. Cornell issued a chair to fucking screw over. Ava Moreno's chances on successfully defending the championship and it looks like she's gonna do it again here tonight and oh, oh my to the back of the skull of sky oh you met you met a sauce in the kendo to Cornell rolls out grabs oh god is she grabbing a kendo as well? No, please don't do this. The guys, no, please. Guys, security. Oh, wait, I forgot. Security sucks. Fuck. And, oh, well, now it's just a full on. Okay, they're just mugging her with kendo sticks. They're just. God damn. It is, hor it is so horrifying. We cannot show it here on PXT. God damn. Right now, both Carnell and Alexia standing tall over Sky Violet. God damn. Alright, check this score. I made a poll somehow. Oh, okay. Uh, do, do we got a poll on the decision of this? Do, do we, we let it to the fans to decide what happened? We're Cyber Sundaying this shit. <laughs> Let's see. Here's what everyone says. Oh, yeah, you could. Hell in a Cell four-way tag match. Oh, God. I'm concerned. <laughs> so, he, so here's the thing, though. With that said, we, we can't do this poll yet <laughs> because we need to see um, we need to see what happens next week because there's still another team. It's the Syndicate and Domination. If that ends like that, there's a shot this thing could be a full-on... Fuck, five teams? That'd be a ten man. I don't even know if we could even do that. So... Fuck. <laughs> We'd have to see what happens. Um, honestly, I, I'm not against it. Uh, if uh, the Syndicate or Domination win, yeah, we can do the... Uh, well, uh, God, I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure about that. Or only because... I haven't tested Hell in the Cells this year. Last year, Carnage was the longest big show. Mainly because everyone got stuck up top of the goddamn cell. So, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I'll, we'll, we'll talk about it more, but it is an open idea. <laughs> I am open to the idea. Oh, God. I've done there four. Yeah. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, real quick, we got to we gotta talk about this. So, as I said a couple weeks back, uh, the women have stepped up the PXD and they showcased what the women's division has. And holy shit, it's a lot of talent. Julia Justice, perfect example. Sky Violet, Jimenez, Cornell, Ava Moreno. Numerous talent here has stepped up. But none deserve it more than none other than Danielle Marino. She is a new up-and-comer here in PXT. She debuted at another promotion. Uh, literally gave it all she had against uh, the champion of that promotion. A former Women's World Champion, uh, Sarah Fox. Came up short, but she had it in her he had the potential in her and it paid off at annihilation everyone did, did literally did not even pick danielle because well correction death did but now a lot of people were picking danielle because smooth was even saying that she might not be in the right mindset she overcame that and she became the inaugural ext's intercontinental women's champion now, with that said, this championship is going to be defended every week until we make another championship, which we already talked to, uh, we're already in talks about another title. Uh, we had some ideas. Uh, we're going to see what we can do. But right now, this championship is going to be defended here tonight against Bree Wayne. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it is Danielle Marino in her first PXC's Intercontinental Championship title defense for. Oh, well, I just said. Yeah, it's for that title. But it's a first title defense against 
Bree Wayne. And I say my commentary sucks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this match is set for one fall, and it is for the PXT's Women's Intercontinental Championship! There she is, ladies and gentlemen. Brie Wayne is the first woman to challenge for the Intercontinental Women's Championship. Yes, I'm going to be just trying to throw women in there as much as possible. <laughs> Now, uh, we haven't seen a lot of Brie actually in action, as far as I know. I don't know how she'll do. But, uh, who knows? Maybe she'll give a fighting shot. Maybe she'll, uh, like, really full-on fuck up shit. That I do in the admins channel. I will check it oh, when I can. I'll check it when I can. Here. Actually, here. Let me see if I can check it right now. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, because uh, sadly there's not a lot of info on Brie Wayne, so it's hard for us to hype up this one. But her opponent, uh, the women's champion herself, holy shit. Not gonna lie to you, she has full on. Is a shot? Yeah, that could be a shot. I won't say what it is, what uh, what we'll say in the admins chat, but th there's a shot for that. I can see it. There she is, the inaugural PXT Women's Intercontinental Champion. Danielle Marino, everybody doubted her. Hell, her father not really doubt her, but more just didn't think she had it in her to capitalize over a household drama. What's the drama? It's still up in the air. We don't full on know, so it's not full on disclosed yet. Um, but the pairing this a little bit of drama going on but so far Mer Danielle the inaugural intercontinental women's champion can she successfully defend it here and prolong that title reign Introducing first the challenger, Brie Wayne! And her opponent, she is the first ever PXC Women's Intercontinental Champion, Danielle Moreno! Been a while since we've had to say that for Moreno in PXC. So far in the family, the only two that's hold gold is Danielle and Smooth. Now the question is, can she successfully defend the championship? Here it is, Brie Wayne looks ready. Danielle looks fucking serious. Wait, how about the people to fight to get a shot for my match? A fight in a... F uh... There's a shot for that. Or, <laughs> hear me out. Because, <laughs> like I say, it does depend what happens uh, next week. Oh, God. Quick snap. Suplex goes for the pin. Oh, Brie immediately kicking out. I think Danielle realizes this is her first title defense and that she needs to take this shit serious. I think that's what she's realizing. Because uh, that was a quick pin. Normally, she takes her time with matches. That was quick. So, there might be a little bit of pressure in the back of her mind. But I think she's taking some lessons from her own father. Oh my god, coming with heavy knee shots straight to the skull of Bree. And oh, wasn't letting up. This is the drop kick. Bree though coming in. Oh, with a wheelbarrow. Bulldog dropping Danielle. Danielle though not staying down for long. Bree not holding anything back. Still fighting. Oh, big punch. Right now, Danielle. Oh, goddamn, giving everything she got. Dropping Bree way down. You said Bree way. I know. <laughs> Breeze down, Danielle up top, oh, misses! Misses the stomps, and now Wayne taking advantage of the situation. Oh, big drop kick, drop to the skull of Danielle. Danielle now getting picked up by Wayne. Wayne looking for a suplex, no, wait. Danielle reverses it into her own suplex! I gotta get props. Danielle has really fucking... 
Oh, taking to heart the lessons from her dad so far. Because holy shit, she's not holding anything back. God damn, but neither is Bree. Bree's not going to give her just an easy win here. Oh, shit. God damn. Big ass fucking missile dropkick to the bottom of the fucking corner. God damn. Sounds definitely going to be a hot potato like the PXD title before and after Abyss. Ah, oh, there's a shot. Honestly, I won't lie to you. There was a high ass shot that that could happen. Uh oh, and now it gets monkey flipped. To be fair, that's a lot of our championships, even the hardcore titles like that, the TikTok titles like that. So really, if the hot potato, it wouldn't be like discouraged upon, but I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Goddamn big maneuver right there from Daniela. Now comes in with another. Oh my god! A dirty ass knee straight to the skull. And Daniela's not holding anything back. Oh my god. Being vicious and. Oh, what the fuck? She turned her over and shit. Five votes, yes, for the Hell in a Cell tag match. Though it is. It is still up for debate. <laughs> still up for debate because I gotta see what happens next week. But I am open to the idea. <laughs> Oh shit! Big drop kick straight to the skull. Oh, but Danielle's not holding anything back. Danielle's still. Oh my god! God damn! One, two. No, Bree's still kicking, but god damn, that was a heavy ass shot. Well, because that's the other thing too that I want to point out here, guys. Uh, technically, the champ does get a say in as well. <laughs> Oh, is Bree gonna tap out? Bree taps out, Danielle! Is the steal, the PXC's Intercontinental Women's Champion! I gotta throw the women somewhere in there. God damn. Bree gave it her all, but holy shit. Danielle just fucking destroyed her when she got advantage. Holy crap. Danielle picking up a big win here, successfully defending the PXT Women's Intercontinental Championship. So far, we have not seen any titles change, but there's still two. Well, technically, that we will technically see one title change tonight, because uh, as we said before, the U.S. Championship is now vacated, to where there will be a new United States Champion. Because uh, Mason did not like the idea of defending two championships back to back because then there's a higher risk of him losing the world title, which he cares way more deeply about than the U.S. So that is why he dropped the championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the midway point because I want to also give out one other announcement. We are back to nine matches in PXT. Why? Because, goddamn, I just looked at the roster. We are up to... Okay, real quick. Because <laughs> this still mind blows me. We are up to 67 competitors here in PXT. And holy fuck. This is a year already. Like, PXT has been going on for a year. And I still cannot fucking believe it has grown as high as it is. And it is fucking still continuing to grow. I, I genuinely cannot believe it. I, I oh man, dude, I have no words for it because I did not expect PXC to grow as much as it has. I did not expect to be calling like Danielle Marino, Brie Wayne, Nicole Hernandez, uh, Shane Henry, all, like all that stuff. Who the hell's Nicole Hernandez? Somebody. Um, <laughs> so you just leaked shit, asshole. I know I did. <laughs> Point is though, I didn't uh, picture to call any of these people, and it really uh, it. It warms my heart to know that uh, it's growing and it still continues to grow and PXT is still like flourishing in other words. Uh, makes me happy. Th I, so I thank y'all because it means all the hard shit that I've dealt with PXT is uh, means something. Um, I don't even know if y'all heard that because sometimes my mic fucking cuts off so I don't even know if y'all heard exactly what I said but point is I appreciate everybody that's in PXT. I appreciate you guys trusting uh, what we do here in PXT as best as possible that we can do. Um, because, God, and, and, and I do also want to give a little sorry as well because because we were at 60 something competitors, there's always going to be some people being lost in that little, like, limelight. 
Um, just know we always try to find a way to get everybody into the show, whether it's a big show, a PXC show, or anything. We always try to find ways, and we will continue to try to find ways to do that. Uh, heck, we've even been talking about maybe starting another show. Um, that's still up for debate. I gotta see if I can, we can do that. <laughs> but with that said, ladies and gentlemen, um, it is on to our next match, which I want to point out. Uh, one of the big times of PXT. One of the big, big moments of PXT was when we had multiple new signees of PXT. Because then we had one of, if not the best, triple threat matches from the three newest signees of PXT. The men tore that house down. It was a five-star match. It's time for the women to do that shit. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We got three newest signees of PXT going at it. Originally, it was supposed to be a one-on-one, -on -one, but we were able to get the newest person in last minute. Now, we won't be showing them. We're going to actually be uh, letting them debut through their match cards and stuff like that, or through their entrances. So, yeah, guys, we're going to be seeing three new signees of PXT, and we're going to see who the hell could get the first pin. Because we have not done a signee uh, versus signee match in... God, years. What so feels like years, but really it's months. So, goddamn, here it goes. I'm excited to see what happens here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Introducing someone I just leaked just literally two seconds ago. <laughs> it's none other than Nicole Hernandez, the wife of Carlos Hernandez. Nicole Hernandez coming in, probably looking to make a goddamn splash in the women's division. Hell, I expect all these women to make splashes tonight in the women's division. Excited to see what happens with them. Damn it! Where are we getting the funds for tanks? Look, man, I'm I'm somehow controlling it. I have telepathy. I'm just like, hey. <laughs> okay, okay, that was weird. right with. Okay, y'all guys didn't see that, but I did the whole like fingers to the temple of my mind. Right when I fucking did it, <laughs> the fucking it started doing like some weird. I was like, whoa, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> That scared the shit out of me. And Nicole Adana is looking to make a splash here in the PXC women's division. The hubby's already done a lot here. Can she do the same? The queen of the mountain. With a fucking tank. What? <laughs> But now, ladies and gentlemen, while speaking of family, apparently, from what we just found out, if this is the right person I'm thinking of, it is, we introduce y'all to Akira Kobayashi, the sister of Satoshi Makoto. I'm not fucking with you. And also, this is not my character. <laughs> she is the sister of Satoshi, though. Which means, I want to point out, yes, she is the newest member of the Syndicate. That's why everyone's already saying boo, goddamn. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, when she did the finger thing, I thought she was flicking us off. <laughs> Holy shit. I guess we're gonna wait and see what... Gita can do- whoa, what's going on? Oh! Oh! Uh... Poison Mist? Oh shit. What the fuck is that? 
You signed off for what the fuck? Shut up, brain! <gasps> Okay, she just loses the stick. Okay, she has magical powers. That won't lie. You fuck. <laughs> so it's just the stick magically vanishing. Fucking. Fucking threw me off. I'm sorry. Cause I was gonna say, damn, you probably should have kept the full like boogeyman thing, cause that was actually pretty fucking cool. It was like really fucking cool to see. But out of nowhere, we see her just dead. She magically gets the stick back. Cool. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> uh, I'm so uh, okay. Sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just the stick. Like, did it just go up her ass? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's. Continuity really fucks it up sometimes. Oh, I believe her name was Hania, uh, and. Okay, she's, she's fighting like that? Okay, I guess she's fighting like that. Oh! Alright, well, Honey is already coming straight out to Carlos. Oh, gets a big, huge dropkick, and apparently the fans are already fans of Akira, because apparently everyone is saying Smash. Goddamn. Oh. Akira getting out of the way. Oh, okay. I, <laughs> I, I think Akira's trying to make sure what she's seeing. As far as I know, I believe we are seeing an Oni at the moment. An Oni or Hanya? A Hanya? An evil ghost from Japan? Oh shit! Bit of gut shine now. Okay, I don't know what Akira's trying to go for. It gets Nicole on the ropes and now gets tossed to the side and up. Oh, oh shit! Okay, big maneuver right there! Big kick all the way, Akira! Looking! To risk it all here! Oh! Okay, the Ohani is just allowing it. You're gonna cure capitalize! Oh! Beautiful suicide dive! God damn! Me and Rocky are going to die since we said smash. Nice knowing you. God damn it. I mean, this isn't my creation. I want to point out here. <laughs> this is a collaborative creation, so I just gave the okay for it. God damn, okay. Evil spirit coming straight out of Oh, Nicole! Taking advantage! Honey and not focusing on everyone in the match. Oh shit! Goddamn, I already saw one triple threat match earlier tonight. It was goddamn, it was actually a pretty big banger. But right now, the women slowly, slowly picking up. Uh oh, double underhook. Soup! Oh my god, damn! That bitch flew! Oh shit! Big chair shot straight in his face, Akira! Yeah, we got. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. We, we are gonna come up with a better name than Hania, cause holy shit, dude. I don't know. It, it, it sounds very, very weird for me. <laughs> like you can't really take it serious, cause it's not like you're going like Hania. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. Oh shit. Kill spirit. God damn, coming in with heavy fucking shots straight in the face, and Hania going in for an arm bar. Oh, Akira. Now let's get it out of there, Nicole. Trying to get in some quick shots there. Again. Oh, shit. Springboard Bulldog. And now. Oh, again. The evil spirit coming in with the big shot straight to the skull. And now another arm bar. Now to Nicole. Nicole's not even, not even assisting. And Nicole was like, you need a fucking chair to take out a spear. Oh, god damn. Just tosses it. Tosses the fucking chair straight to the fucking skull. Oh, I can't. Holy shit. Big elbow shot there. Now Nicole tosses, Evil Spirit to the ropes, goes under. Oh, let's try to go over, oh, gets caught, a big clothesline. Akira has, oh, had a kendo, drops it to save the match. Both women can't do, can't do anything over Nicole. Uh oh, Evil Spirit, oh, god damn, big brain buster. And now, oh, springboard forearm, dropping. Ha, 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 he, 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 Oh, oh shit! And the family lock right there. That's the Yakuza lock. Oh oh shit. Well, apparently gets out of it. Holy shit. Oh god, god damn. Okay, okay. 
Nicole's trying to take a page from her hubby. He exercised the devil. Oh, another submission home. Oh, Nicole, but the evil spirit stops it. Oh, shit. Big shot straight to the spine. And oh, okay. The evil spirit looking to steal the win. One, two. No, Nicole kicks out. I knew you were country, but I didn't know you were that country. God damn. Not the live chair throw. <laughs> I just realized, yeah. God damn, two candlesticks. He was trying to banish her with the kendo sticks. Not gonna have, god damn. Okay, well, the evil spirit so far. Dang, the troll. Should we just call it like the evil bride or some shit? Okay. It's just a big demonic punch. Drops a kidda. I right, gets a kidda to the corner. What is the evil spirit gonna go for? Oh, strike over sign. Kidda go. Getting out of. Okay, a danger ball gets Kai with the mist! Straight to the skull! Is that it? One! No, Nicole saves the match! <laughs> I want to point out, Akira is blinded right now. Evil miss there. Now gets sends Nicole to the ropes. Oh, misses the kick! Nicole! Looking to capitalize here. Oh, god damn. Big shot straight Fraser comes up with a running clothesline, dropping Akira. Still a blinded Akira, I want to point out here. Oh, Nicole coming with chops straight to the chest. Uh oh. What's she going for here? Oh, beautiful drop kick right there from Nicole. I think, okay, Akira was able to get it off her face. The mist is gone from Akita's face, finally. I don't know what the fuck the evil spirit's doing. <laughs> oh, he's just gonna call her the evil spirit? We're gonna call her Bob now, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Okay, big shots right there from. God damn, Akita just dropping the shit! Out of Nicole with successions of shots. Uh, uh, okay, she just. I guess the kid has a titanium back. Oh sh God damn! The <laughs> fucking brings both kiddo sticks on both women. Holy shit! Double team DDT from both Nicole and uh, uh, Hannah. I'm gonna call her Hannah for now. Cause uh, God damn, I got. We gotta come up with a name for her. Cause that the first name's fucking goddamn evil. <laughs> Big forearm. Uh oh. Second advantage. Goes under. Oh, goes. Oh, what is going on here? Oh, beautiful arm drag right there. Oh, misses the shot. Oh, beautiful shot right there. From the evil spirit. What's she going to go for? She's going to the top. Going to the top. What's she going for? What's she going for? A double axle straight to the skull. Cause I get she was just going for it. I I don't know, that looks weird seeing like a spiritual type figure goes for a dirty pin like that. I don't know. Oh beautiful! I don't know if there's a name for it, but big move from Nicole doesn't drop the evil spirit down, not one second. <laughs> just tosses the kid no. So funny. Oh no! Oh, springboard forearm! Drops the evil spirit. Now it's Nicole and Akira. Oh, I think Nicole's trying to go for something. Doesn't get it. Uh oh. And Akira. Oh, was trying to, I think he was trying to go for a small package. Pile driver. Doesn't get it. Nicole getting out of danger with it. And Nicole capitalized. Getting the evil spirit into the corner. Oh, doesn't get it. Right now, it is any woman's game, because honestly, I don't see any woman really having a full advantage in the match. Oh, beautiful hair karate from Akira! Oh, she's going for another double on hook! Oh my god, god damn! Sends the evil spirit practically flying! Oh, oh, beautiful suplex right there! 
Oh. Oh, a bit of disrespect from Akira, but Nicole now looking to teach some discipline to Akira. Akira, though, fighting back. Not gonna take it. What's Akira gonna go for? No, Nicole's not gonna have it. Oh. Who reverses it? Oh, it's trying to go something big. Doesn't get it. Doesn't connect. Oh, I think the evil spirit is trying to go for something. Doesn't get it, though. Not gonna get it. Oh. Big shot there. And now, Akira taking advantage of the mist. Oh, god damn. Round the world. DDT. And now the evil spirit's in control. You know, though, immediately gets up. Man, these women just love kendo sticks, apparently. Holy shit. No way, this is a kind of similar to my match in a way. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, I gotta get props to the three women right now. They're tearing the house down. Holy shit. Oh, big shots right there from Akira. Akira coming in strong. And now, oh, shit. Oh, the thing the evil spirit was trying to capitalize on from it, not getting it. Kira getting out of danger. Neither woman is allowing the other to take advantage of anything here. Oh, big shot straight to the fit. What? What? What is? Craig, you're changing shit. <laughs> I just, it looks like another wildfire. God damn it. <laughs> I don't know, man, because she looked creepy at first. It looked cool, and then out of nowhere, she does the Shado Mac. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, God damn! Battle of Kendo Stick and Baseball. That was America and Japan. <laughs> That's what that was. Holy shit. Oh, steel chair. Oh, the baseball still wins the outcome. Oh. Nicole being thrown back in the middle of the ring. Akira taunting away. Not taking the match seriously, honestly. Right, an hour 20 minutes in. Let's stay show. Oh, misses. Oh, really misses the fucking dive right there from Nicole. Trying to send it back. Yeah, I think I think all the women are trying to send each other back in the ring, but they can't because uh, physics says no. Nicole sent back into the ring. Oh, wait, what's Akita going for here? Akita! Oh, small package pile driver! Oh, and that's that might be it for the spirit, but right now it's Nicole and Akita. Oh, Nicole looking to capitalize, baby. No, not getting it. Uh oh. Oh, shit! Big move right there from Akira. Now the evil spirit looking to capitalize. Woman looks a little confused. Oh, now just choking away on Akira. Nicole looking though. What other? Oh! I don't know we call it the mountain twist or what, but holy shit. Oh, beautiful neck breaker. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, beautiful kick right there from Akira dropping the evil spirit almost immediately. Oh, gets Sky in a big clothesline. I think Akira was trying to keep, really think there for a moment. As far as I know, Akira hasn't been in a lot of big promotions, so I think we just saw her be green a little bit. Oh my god, was that spear? Is that spear or a takedown? I don't know. Oh god, oh, I guess it's a spear and she just hit two of them! Dropping both women! Now, oh, oh god! That was gut check, that's what that was, holy fuck! Oh, that's kind of another jumpy clothesline from Nicole! I'm gonna change the kit, yeah! <laughs> that's probably a good idea. Well, no, give her, give her like pants because for some reason she was in a she was in a tongue a while ago oh shit Nicole coming in hardcore dropping both women then he has to knock in Nicole pick up the win one two no Akira kicks out holy shit women not wanting the match to stop uh oh 
Oh, Nicole. Going a technical prowess, and now, oh my god, has a kid of... This full on locked up. Oh, the embarrassment. Oh, misses. Okay. I mean, it was technically a good counter to the evil spirit trying to fuck it up. Oh, Nicole's in control right now. Oh, there is evil spirit looking to capitalize. And now gets the upper hand with a back elbow shot. And now looks to choke the shit out of Nicole. Yeah, Miss Hernandez pick up the win here. Can a kid a can the well how do you but we're calling you evil spirit right now because I cannot say that goddamn name without fucking laughing. Not cheesy controlling, it's just a strange name. <laughs> Sorry, okay, that, that was just funny. <laughs> just here, start getting ready, gets fucking tossed by a goddamn. <laughs> That's funny. That was funny. Oh, submission hold on, Nicole. Is Nicole gonna tap out here? Nicole taps out, Akira picks up the win! Was that an inverted figure four, by the way? <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. Akira picking up a big win! Not only for her debut. But for the Syndicate. The Syndicate are now in the women's division. God damn, hey, that was actually a fire ass match. We gotta change Hadia though. <laughs> Just look, she look creepy in the out of nowhere. She's like over here, like doo -doo 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 -doo. and then somehow the stick just comes in and out of her ass magically. That's where that concerns me. <laughs> God damn, that was a fire ass match though. Akira, congratulations on your debut and picking up a huge win, not only on uh, Nicole Hernandez, but. <laughs> gotta, we gotta do a lot of work with Hania. Um, or, well, first off, we're changing the name, but besides that, on to continuing the show because we got one, two, three, four. We still got four men. I wanna point out, the main event's gonna be long as shit. <laughs> and it's gonna be a bitch to edit, I wanna point that out too. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, there's been a little, there's been a lot of back and forth between uh, Carlos Hernandez and Shane Henry. Shane Henry has already called out Carlos. Carlos has rebuttaled a lot. There's, there's a lot to cover, so I won't cover all of it. I'm just going to cover probably the last stuff that's been talked from them. Um, but pretty much Shane did also go into the fact of bringing up that he does hold the record for the quickest match against Jason Castle. And this is true. He has had... Oh god, how much? It, the match was a good two minutes or minute 50. It is the quickest match in PXT history. Um, you also make this precious PXT universe doubt every time you're out there. You lose and then lose and then lose. It's sad. You would probably lose to Daniels, who I've taken out with ease. I've taken out Jason Castle in under two minutes. I've been one of the biggest guys in our company, Bill Cassidy. And you don't see me prancing around here, so tell me who's the real egotistical one here, Carlos. The Mountain King will become the Silenced King. And when he bows down to his god, not Lawler, but Shane Henry. And there was a little... Oh, I've... Admit, you've done more than me, you're an OG in PXT, but you are God? I think you are egotistical. Worse than Mr. Page, or Mrs. Stratton, but she has more talent in her chest than you. I may need more time to prove that I am a threat in PXT, and I think a win over you at Biowar is a perfect way to start it. Though so Shane Henry might want to be God. You can make me silent or crack my bones, but this heart will fight on until I die trying. So take the Bible study, slap nuts. So take that, the Bible study, slap nuts. Yeah, I know I said that wrong. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is confirmed it will be uh, Shane Henry and Carlos Hernandez at BioWar. And I believe they were in talks of a false cow anywhere match. So I do got to look into this a little bit more, but there's a whole lot of uh, Full on stuff between the two. So if you guys want to check that out, you guys can come on down to the PXT backstage. It is where uh, pretty much everyone gets to just chill, hang out, talk about wrestling. Uh, if you guys have new characters, you guys can instantly like direct uh, message me to it and everything like that. Uh, it will take me time to respond, but 
Uh, it is open to literally everybody. It's in the description of this live stream uh, for the PXD episodes. I believe even for just other like videos I upload as well. It should just be always up there now. So if you guys ever want to check it out, come on down, check it out. The whole server. It's pretty cool. With that said, though, uh, bringing up Shane Henry's quickest match against Jason Castle. Jason Castle took those as fighting words because Castle has already uh, reflected that he's not the same mindless beast that he was when he was still in prison, falsely in prison, because of his manager, uh, John Winters. So, with that said, he has challenged Shane Henry, and Shane reluctantly agreed because he believes he can do it again. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it is none other than Shane Henry and Jason Castle going one-on-one, -on -one, running it back to see if it was a fluke or not. Oh, excuse me, by the way. Now, I do want to point out one thing, and I do want to point this out. As far as I know, I believe, technically, Shane Henry is the second longest reigning hardcore champion in PXT. The longest reigning still goes to Mox, because Mox defended it, I believe, in three big shows? Had it at Carnage, had it at Frostbite, defended it at... No, actually, he didn't defend it at Rush. No, never mind, I was wrong. So, he is the longest reigning with two months and a half of hardcore champions. Jane was close to beat it, but he had to de successfully defend it at Annihilation. Sadly, he did come up short, but at the same time, all the odds was against him. That's it, though. He now turns his attention on silencing the Mountain King. Also, I do want to apologize if the stream is lagging like a clusterfuck. Uh, we do record these. They will get uploaded. Sadly, it's probably going to be a little bit month behind uh, because we are uploading them every week. So just a heads up there. They will be uploaded eventually to where it is a clearer picture, a lot better, a lot more fun to watch. So but with that said, Jason Castle now coming in. Jason has stepped up as well. He was in the actual Bond match two months ago, uh, along with Johnny Tugaloa. Uh, sadly, they did not pick up the win. Uh, he did have an opportunity to be in the actual Annihilation match. He did also came up short. Which one it was, I actually do not remember, but I do know he did have an opportunity for it. He did come up short. Now, the question is... This is for Drew Dance. Um, wait, so what, wait, what is Shane saying? I didn't even read what Shane said. What did he say? Remember what I said, if you lose your debut at PXT, you go on and have a great career. Actually, he does have a point with that. Because, uh, I don't know, it's actually happened. Because uh, a lot of people have lost their, like, debuts, and they've, uh, they've actually come to be, like, champions. With that said, though, same can be said with Electro. But he won. <laughs> he won his. Alright, here it is. Oh, Shane already trying to go. Oh, oh, ham with it, but Castle coming in strong. Oh, God, God damn. Castle wants to torment Shane. Shane, though, not having it. Comes in with a series of punches straight to the skull. God damn. Oh, shit. Big shots dropping Castle. I think Shane's getting a little frustrated. I think he thought this was going to be another two minute or 150 minute match. He's gonna do a lot more to stop that and a good ripcord knee dropping castle. Ooh. Big forearm straight to the skull. Yeah, I hate that little fucker Shane. As I don't in real life. No, here. <laughs> oh. Ooh. He shot there. That's a big boy. He's been eating his veggies. I was gonna say steak, but yeah. All right, well, right now, it's a good. It's not going to be another squash match because Castle's holding his own. Shane's holding his own. I believe we already passed the threshold of a two-minute match again. Oh, shit. Shane has him up. Now another. Oh, God. Fucking backstabber straight to the spine of Castle. Honestly, who does that hurt more? Does that hurt Castle or does that hurt Shane? That's a lot of weight on those fucking knees. Oh shit. God damn, Shane being very fucking brutal. Shane has come off a little more aggressive as of late. Ever since, oh, picking up the Hardcore Championship. Alright, now, oh god. It's dropped. 
from fucking God. I don't know how tall Castle is. I believe he's seven foot tall. But holy fuck. Uh oh. Oh shit! Ah damn, big just lift up spine. I don't know what to call that. I was gonna call a spine buster, but it was just a big drop. And now a running power slam! Dropping Shane Henry! Goes with a pin, is that enough? One! No, doesn't get it. Only gets a one count, not even a two. Castle's gonna do a lot more to drop Shane Henry. Shane Henry, another man uh, close to becoming, well, technically, technicality-wise, Triple Crown Champion, because uh, no man has actually held, I believe, three championships in PXT. Uh, even Electro claiming to be Triple Crown Champion was mainly just hold him holding three crowns at the same time. He doesn't label it as him holding three crowns in the show entirely. But even with that said, that was technically a different promotions championship so with pxc he has technically never done it before oh shit big shot straight to the face uh oh going over and now oh i think there was looking to silence oh castle oh it hits him with damn a bit of a uh, shades of a former employee of pxt ace with a fucking sp Oh! Is that Sweet Silence? Is that what we're calling that one? Sweet Silence. No, Castle kicks out. Or is it Pure Silence? I forgot what it was called. <laughs> it was either Sweet Silence or Pure Silence. That was a new maneuver from Shane, though. Holy shit. Oh, shit. He just needs to win. No, it's Pure Silence. Okay, thought so. Cause I was like sweet silence, but I was like, wait, no, we didn't, we didn't settle on sweet. I remember. <laughs> I finally remember. I'm evolving. <laughs> okay, well, pure silence from Shane. A new maneuver. Bit of a quicker uh, version of the silencer. Oh, I was trying. I don't know how Castle missed the goddamn turnbuckle, but somehow I missed the turnbuckle. Who cracked the turnbuckle? The turnbuckle's cracked. Oh, big shots from Shane. Shane coming in hard, coming in fast, coming in heavy, coming in with everything he has in his arsenal. Oh my god, Big Meteor straight to the skull and drops Castle. Uh, and now, oh god, Shane really targeting a goddamn arm of Castle, not allowing him to fucking probably come in with heavy shots, heavy strikes, anything. And look at capitalize castle though, not gonna have it. Castle! Uh oh. Black goes. Oh shit! I don't think we've ever seen him hit a finish. I don't think we ever had a name for it. Could we should we call it Cycle's Edge? I don't know. Kill switch? No. Nah. Cycle's Edge. I'll go with Cycle's Edge. Oh my no. No! Oh, oh god! Oh my god! Shane's dead! My god, he's dead! No, he's alive! What the fuck? God damn, dude. Holy shit. How the fuck he's alive? Excellent qu oh. oh, okay, we're seeing Castle coming with a crossface. Look at the probably make Shane tap out here. Shane. Being reluctant as ever, saying hell no. Oh. Castle reversing Shane Henry. Castle took what Shane said as damn fighting words. Oh. Can Shane do it? Can Shane put down? Oh! Castle big clothesline! Straight to the back. Is it now gonna go for it? Goes with the pin. Is that not the drop? Castle, no! Castle still kicks out. Oh, those like both men looking to challenge each other. Castle has a fiend. Oh, yeah, I saw that, yeah. A lot of wet do, honestly. Kyle Shane is alive. I have no fucking idea. Oh, big shots there. Right now, we're seeing who can... Who wants this more? That's what we're seeing right now. We want to see who wants this more. What this... Oh, I guess it means more to Castle Shane. Dropped. Uh oh, uh oh, 
Psycho's Edge! I think Shane might be out. Crowd standing one more time. Holy, I guess the crowd's done with Shane too. And Castle has shut up Shane Henry. God damn. Castle not holding anything back, dude. Holy shit. Oh, I've been told it's called six feet under. My bad. Holy shit. Wait, what the fuck? Carlos, Carlos in the ring. Castle already left. He's already gone. Carlos in the ring. I Shane. Oh, hits him with a gun, comes in! Oh, now come in with a King Summit and drops Shane Henry! Shane Henry is down and Carlos Hernandez drops him. Then he's all over Shane Henry and apparently is now saying, if you couldn't beat that, what fucking makes you think you can beat me now? Well, shit. Carlos attacks Shane Henry after the match. Castle picking up, honestly, a huge fucking win. A huge. Holy shit. Well, that said, ladies and gentlemen, um, it is now on to our seventh match of the night. We are still not done. Tonight's going to be fucking long as fuck. <laughs> this might be the longest episode of PX. <clears throat> oh, fuck me. Excuse me. The reason I say that is because we still got the 10 man uh, eliminator match. That one's gonna, it's gonna suck balls. <laughs> that one's gonna suck. Um, but then not just that, we do also have uh, another match I didn't even talk about. We haven't hyped this one up at all. The point is, uh, it is now time to see if Justin got lucky. Because here's the thing, Onyx did win a battle royale to be the last man to enter the Annihilation match. He was number one for some reason. He was the first man to start it because Arthur's creative control. So because of that, we did decide to honor Onyx's uh, with a compensation. So in this case, he is the next man in line to face Justin for the PXC Hardcore Championship. It's only right because technically he was supposed to be last in there and that could have really changed the outcome of the match. Don't get me wrong, Onyx lasted everybody and he was one of the last two. But if he was the last one, that could have really changed the outcome of the match. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, it is now Justin against Onyx in a hardcore match for the PXT Hardcore Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is a hardcore match for the PXT Hardcore Championship. You popped, I know. Honestly, everyone hates him, but uh, you can't discredit anything he's done here in PXT. He's actually been really stepping the fuck up, which is surprising, shocking, and a little disturbing. Point is, he's been really stepping the fuck up. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's none other than Onyx. The big, thick body of PXT. Ooh. Onyx debuted, uh, I believe he's already about to hit his year, well, his, yeah, he's about to hit his year next uh, week, actually. A lot of characters are about to hit their year, I think, next week. Apple, him, a lot of people. <laughs> Adonis. Um... Which, no, we actually have a little bit of reports. Apparently, Adonis is going into uh, deep training. Apparently, the match at Annihilation really opened his eyes that maybe he wasn't full-on ready for him. So, right now, he's in deep training with none other than Eden. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, right now, it is the legendary high flyer, Justin. Justin 
God damn, it, it, it has been a fucking Cinderella story with this man as of late. Because we found out that it wasn't steroids, he's just been living in the fucking gym. But holy shit, he had a terrible first year in PXT, but now he is the PXT Hardcore Champion. He is finally holding gold here in PXT. He has taken out Electro, he has taken out uh, Michael Slade, he has taken out, hell, Shane Henry! Justin has survived so much, and it's amazing to see him actually hold gold here in PXT. In other words, his brother doesn't got a lot on him anymore. Devil was the only one to hold title in the family. Now it's both the uncles. There it is. That's what it's for, ladies and gentlemen. The PXT World Hardcore Heavyweight Wrestling Championship. I just read it off the title. Oh. <laughs> Introducing first, he is the big, thick, Batty of PXT Onyx And his opponent he is the legendary high flyer but also the PXT Hardcore Champion Justin Why are you growling? I don't know This is Justin's first title defense here in PXC. He is not unfamiliar with the game. He is a former WWE champion, former, uh, I believe, world side champion. Um, I could be wrong on that one, but I do know he held the WWE championship. So Justin knows what's at stake. He does. But now the question is, how far is he willing to go to successfully defend the championship holy shit a big running clothesline drops onyx immediately i think onyx was expecting a slow start well no onyx is going straight up in too but didn't expect that type of offense from justin justin immediately going to the top oh i'm taking it oh wait oh beautiful maneuver well justin a huge haircut from the legendary high flyer himself I want to point out, if Onyx gets hit with the Frog Splash, it is it is over. 100% it is over. reason I say that is because so far, <laughs> don't get me wrong, people haven't been able to kick out of it, but it is a goddamn match killer at this point. It fucking ends everything. And goddamn, okay, both Onyx and Justin not letting the other capitalize at all. Holy shit, beautiful. Fucking back and forth. God damn, real beautiful back and forth from both Onyx and Justin. Holy shit. Onyx, again, can make history if he wins here tonight. Reason saying is because he could be the first man to hold TikTok and Hardcore Championship here in PXT. No man has done that yet. Abko had the opportunity earlier tonight. The dog took advantage and literally came out the victor. Onyx, though, has a second chance. Can he do it, though? Oh, Justin immediately going for a pin. Goes for a one. Two, oh, not even a two. Onyx kicks out. I want to point out, surprisingly for a hardcore match, nobody's going for weapons. I believe Onyx tried to a while ago, but no, wasn't able to get it in. And Justin, I was honestly, I'm more surprised Justin isn't going for a hardcore uh, or any like hardcore weapons, anything like that. Normally, I mean, hell, like I said, it's legal. And yes, I did set it up. It is an extreme or hardcore match. It is. Wait, what? Oh, well, I believe we're about to see a suicidal pile driver as again. A big punch straight to the face. And I, oh, big moonsault. It is a hardcore match. It's confirmed because he did try grabbing a weapon at the beginning. So it is a hardcore match. This is for some reason, surprisingly, Justin and Onyx wants to play it clean. I think they just want to beat the living shit out of each other. Nope, there it is. There's Justin. Now thinking it. Now thinking it. Oh, misses the chair shot. Uh oh. Uh oh, this could be bad for Justin. This could be real bad for Justin. Pop up into the apron. Oh, oh shit. God damn, did this head hit the still steps too? God damn. Onyx really showing how much he wants this. How much it means to him to get this win. Oh, smart move from Onyx taking out the legs of Justin. Reason being is because if the legs are gone, there's not a lot of high flying you can do. 
what Justin really relies on, but even with that said, Onyx would still have to worry about God damn the arm strength of Justin. I mean, holy shit, the man can bench press anything. Literally. Okay, series of punches from Justin. Probably looking to disorient Onyx as much as possible. Try to get an upper hand. For the hardcore title, I won't lie, this is really fucking tamed. <laughs> this is a really tamed hardcore match from what we've seen Mox do, fucking Shane do. This is a pretty tamed hardcore match, surprisingly. Ooh. That's tossed away, and now, I oh, rolling Santon! God damn, a quick running, running rolling Santon, god damn, that's gonna fuck me up, this is gonna call it rolling Santon. Oh, Onyx trying to do something with Justin, Justin though, waking up, getting out of it, trying to capitalize, gets Onyx back in the ring, what is Justin gonna go for here though? Justin missing it, and now, oh, another beautiful! Beautiful Herakarana from Justin dropping Onyx again. Onyx goes to the outside, but Justin not allowing him to capitalize from getting a moment's rest. This is what I'm talking about, though. Justin knows how to pace it because he is a former champion. He is not unfamiliar with this. If anything, I would say he's more unfamiliar with a hardcore type of match. Because as far as I know, I don't believe he's ever been in a hardcore match. So I think that's the only old thing Justin has to learn to adapt to. It's just literally stepping to that next level. Which I don't think we've ever seen Justin do. Oh, bumps into him. What's... Oh, wait. What's Justin going for? Oh, shit! Standing! Canadian Destroyer! Drops Onyx. Justin, though, not done with him. Oh, my God! I want to point out, Justin, I wouldn't be doing this now and take him into the ring and do this. Onyx talking Justin, the other side. Now, maybe if anything, the awareness could be off. I don't know, because it has been a while since... Oh, shit, big shot right there. It has been a while since Justin has held gold. Because, hell, the last time he held a championship besides PXT was I believe back in, oh god, 2014? Almost a decade? Oh shit. Oh, big reversal from Onyx. Onyx has control in the match. Justin had a good starting. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, it wasn't on the ladder, but oh my god, that would have been nuts. A suicide, a pile driver. Dropping him, and now, oh, a flat line! And Onyx is down to- Oh my- How the fuck is Justin getting up? <laughs> he just fucking no sold the flatline. Onyx got more hurt for the flatline than Justin! Oh my god! Uh oh. Oh! Oh shit! Did he stab him? Holy shit! God damn, Onyx is really showing how much he wants this fucking win. God damn. Onyx really capitalizing. Justin, though, looking to snap out of it, finally. Ooh. God damn. Okay, they're just, they're just full on collide. Oh, there it is. Oh. Big gut shot. Again, I think this is the difference maker. In a hardcore match, it's just showing which opponent is willing to go the extra mile to put down their opponent. Dustin tries, but honestly, he's... I don't know. It feels like he's reluctant. Onyx... Onyx knows he could be hardcore champion. He knows it. All right, he's in. Oh, Justin... Oh, Onyx and Justin looking to go back and forth. Justin, though, not having it. Justin, though, not having it. Justin, though, not having it. He's going to win this. Both men just going toe to toe with each other right now. Oh, there's Onyx. Onyx looking to capitalize now. 
Oh my god! Both men is- There it is! Both men showing how much they want it! Justin, don't want you to go back down! Onyx! Oh my god! Evenly matched! Wait, no! I think Justin's more dazed. Onyx still- Still up! Those in the trash can. Oh shit! God damn! One, two. That was a big bitch punch right there. Holy shit! And he said this match was tamed. It was a it was a very tame start, honestly. Oh god damn! It was a very tamed start to it. Nobody was going for weapons. Hell, we see Mox in these seven matches. Mox immediately went for weapons most of the time. Ooh! Big snap DDT and Justin has to roll out. Onyx now going to the top. Onyx, oh, big elbow dive from the top to the outside. God damn. It looks like Justin also landed on the metal part of the sledgehammer. Ooh, goddamn, big shot there. You haven't read it yet. Check the promo chat. I haven't checked shit. Because right now I'm trying to, I just want to see what's going to happen. Is Justin going to defend? The, oh, flatline from Onyx to Justin. Onyx needs to get Justin in the ring, though. He needs to get him in the ring. Oh, your suicida pile driver. I don't know what Onyx is doing. I think Onyx is trying to show everybody that he is. Oh, oh my God, dude. I think Onyx is just punishing Justin for the win. Oh my God, another flat line on the outside. My God, Justin's getting decimated at this point. Now sweeps the leg. I don't know what Onyx is doing. I think at this point he's trying to just punish Justin. It's the only thing I can say that he's doing right now. Justin stole his moment at Annihilation. Fucking pinned him for the championship. Oh, and Justin now looking to come back. And another rolling Santon on top of Onyx. Onyx is taking this personally. Justin is seeing this as a, I guess, is that a normal title match? I'm not sure. Because Justin's really not utilizing all the weapons, unlike Onyx is. Onyx, oh, well, right when I say that. Oh shit! I didn't leave the blood in Onyx's eyes, blinded him for a bit because he didn't see. I guess he couldn't see the still steps. I don't know. But now Justin looking to capitalize. And god damn! I don't know. That was Justin. I try to get him back into the ring. That or Onyx? Hell, one or the other. They need to get the other man back in the ring so then they get a goddamn clear win for this. I think they're trying to. For some reason, they're aiming wrong. <laughs> All right, well now, oh, well now coming in with a calf crusher. Oh well, just it, just a task, but it doesn't matter. And this, the decision has to be made in the middle of the ring, so it doesn't matter that happened. We saw that with Electro and Mox back at Frost Fight. Electro would have won, but he played coy. That is what Onyx is doing at this point. Onyx is not playing this smart. Neither is Justin. Honestly, they want the other one to win. They need to get them back in the fucking ring. Uh oh, and I, yeah, I, I, I don't know if it's the camera angle fucking it or what, but holy shit. Justin now walking away. Onyx following. Justin coming back in the ring now, looking to probably finish this. Onyx following. Oh! Oh, shit! Over here saying Justin wasn't capitalizing in the set or in a hardcore match. Oh, Onyx though! Onyx! Flatline! Oh my god, is that it? Is that it for Justin's reign? One! Two! No! Oh my god, Justin kicked out. Justin kicked out. Justin refusing to give up here tonight. Uh oh. Big power slam. Onyx. I think now looking for the swinging flatline. And no! Justin gets out of it! Big punch!
Oh, straight to the skull! Oh, they Justin. Wait, what's what's Justin doing? What's Justin doing? Get to the top, you bitch! Get to the top, you bitch, Justin! I don't know, Justin's disoriented or what? I don't know what he's doing. I think Justin's just taking the moment and attacks the arm. Now goes for the pin. I don't think it's gonna be enough though. I'm wrong. <laughs> oh my god. I think Justin was doing that to test if he was still like active or not. He wasn't. <laughs> so he went straight for it. The winner of this match and still the PXT Hardcore Champion, Justin. Oh my god. Fire, man. That was actually a really good fucking match. Yeah, because no, my brother, he saw and I, I told him that he won. He actually didn't watch the full match through. Surprisingly, he played clear, which is awesome. I don't know if it played clear this time. If it did, cool, he gets to watch it. But, um, nah, I told him about it. He was like, hey, that's pretty sick. I won a title, finally. <laughs> oh, man. Now, nah, congratulations to Justin, though, on picking up, uh, hell, fire ass fucking win. That was fucking nuts, though. When Onyx hit the goddamn thing, dude, when he hit the flat line, I was like, that's it. That's it. We have a new champion. I was literally like, history being made. Justin, no. <laughs> Oh, dude, that was fucking nuts. Damn. That was fire. That was a fire-ass match. Congratulations, Justin, on retaining the Hardcore Championship and prolonging your title run for another week. Um, because if anything, the TikTok title is getting offended next week as well. Why? Because we gotta punish the champ as much as possible. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, that's what's gonna start up the cycle. So if anything, the TikTok title will start it up again. So next week, uh, we're going to see who's going to face the dog for the title once again. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, um, it is now time for the next match. So at Annihilation, it was Adrian Cave and C. Jill going one-on-one. -on -one. C. Jill honestly decimated Cave. Let's be honest here. Cave didn't really stand a damn chance. Um, in it. Now, no, yes, people could say, oh, it's because he's blind. No, it's just purely full-on difference. I think the pressure of the match got to Cave... He didn't feel like he was ready, because even when he went against Devil, he came up short on that, so him coming up short against Sigil isn't really shocking to me, but who <laughs> thought you had to kill Hunter. Got you. Um, but yeah, no, uh, so that's where it's like, shit. <laughs> so, with that said, Cave did lose the match, but apparently after the match, Mason uh, came in and looked to take out Sigil. Mason came into the match uh, after Adrian lost against C. Jill. Tried to spear uh, C. Jill. Adrian came, pushed C. Jill out of the way, taking the shot. Uh, and Mason full on bailed after. Uh, so apparently, uh, C. Jill has not spoken about anything of it. Uh, over that said, Cave, though, was pretty pissed about it. And he wanted a match against Mason. Mason laughed. Literally, 100% laughed straight in the face of Adrian Cave. And thought he was fucking joking. Cave did the most stupidest thing in the fucking world. And smacked Mason straight across the fucking face. And sure enough, it worked, because uh, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have our BXC World Heavyweight Champion, Mason Dixon, going one-on-one -on -one against Adrian Cave here tonight. Honestly, I think Cave's gonna fucking die. <laughs> no! Oh, both men in, both men look great. Oh! Well, isn't this funny? So, ladies and gentlemen, this is our YouTube champion, Venom, coming in. I want to point out here, uh, Adrian Cave, though he lost at Bond against C. Jill, technically he is, he does get the other part of the Bond stipulation, which is he gets the consolation prize, which is the YouTube championship. So in other words, it is Venom and Adrian Cave going one-on-one -on -one at BioWar for the YouTube Championship. And it looks like Venom looking to cause some trouble here. 
Oh, yes. oh God! Mason! Okay, Mason's already starting off strong. Holy shit! Mason got pissed that Gabe did that. Oh, God! Big clothesline right there! Gabe. Oh, I, I think Gabe was whispering something in Mason's ear. I, I don't know what that was, but Mason not having it again. Another big running punch straight to the skull of Cave. Oh! Big shoulder tackle, and now proceeds. Goddamn. He's a stomp on the hand of Cave, and now proceeds to just... Goddamn. Mason is just furious at this point. Just mad that this little shit smacked him across the face. Wants to teach him a goddamn lesson. Cave, though, not going to have it. Oh, Mason. Also not going to have it. Mason gets Cave up. Cave, though, fighting his hardest out. But is not enough against Mason Dixon. Holy shit. Oh, Cave still fighting, Cave still going. Oh, God. Mason punched so hard, he fucking disoriented the man. Oh, back elbow shot. Immediately dropping the world champion. God, if you imagine if Cave can drop Mason Dixon here. Oh, into a pin. One. God damn. Can you imagine if he could get a pin off of Mason Dixon here tonight? Can you all imagine? Venom is floating. He is spiritual. There's not even a chair there. Oh shit, Mason flying! That was Superman. That's what that was. God damn. Next shot straight in the face. Mason now, uh, god damn, just punishing the living shit out of Adrian Cave. Uh oh, oh, I think he was going for a heel sacrifice though. Cave not having it. Uh oh. Oh! Okay. We're at count of six. Count of seven. Are we going to see another draw here tonight? Mason getting Cave back into the ring. Oh, man, dude. Mason really just punishing Adrian K for the disrespect. Mason goes with a pin. Is that another drop Cave out? One. The ref was listening to dubstep in the middle of that pin. Oh my god, dude, Mason is just obliterating Cave. Cave's not even having a shot to do anything. Holy fuck. Cave's down, Mason going into the top. And a big splash connects on Adrian Cave. Dixon just taunting away. I think Venom just eyeing Cave, looking to see what he can do. Oh! I think he was trying to go for sign. Didn't get it. I don't know what Cave was trying to go for there. Cave, Cave is saying something to Mason. I don't know what the hell he's saying. Oh! Big! That was a big Superman punch. Let's be, well, wait, did we call it Superman's punch? Or did we call it, like, heal something? Oh, hero spearhead! Dropping Adrian Cave! Is that enough to drop it out of the match? One, two, no! Cave is still going. Uh oh. Facing over to the top. And now a big splash right there! Drops Mason. Oh, correction, Mason drops, and Cave, goddamn, dude, Cave, I think Cave is really out of this. And now, God, I don't know, it looks like whatever the hell Cave said to Mason, apparently he's just pissed him off even more. I don't know, this just feels like Mason's going a little bit more aggressive. I don't know if it was just the smack that's getting him aggressive as hell, or if... Whatever the hell he's saying is getting him pissed. Right now, Mason is absolutely pissed off. Oh, God. Up and down. Now a big goal. God damn. Yeah, count of seven, ladies and gentlemen.
Got a nine. I don't know what Cave's doing. Cave's now in. What gets caught? Another heel spearhead. One, two, three, and Cave is out. Well, I guess we're seeing what would happen in this one. Dead ass man be cooking. I see. Mason Dixon standing tall. Venom. I believe that's just Bell. Oh shit, what the fuck? See, Jill is standing at the entrance. Mason sees him. Both men just, I guess, staring at each other. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't know. Oh, I know. Mason's picking up. Cave for hero sacrifice. Drops him down. I was going to say, through that whole fucking thing, he was purely keeping his eyes focused on C. Jill. Oh, great. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Light, lights out, apparently. Lights out. Wait. Lights out. Okay, cool. C. Jill. Okay, C. Jill just fucking did it. Okay, he's in the ring. Up in Mason's face. See the man batting an eye. Uh, can, uh, can we, are we like not paying the light bill some shit? Cause the lights go out so many times here. Oh, okay, but now, okay. Cave and CJ are gone. Awesome, cool, I guess. Oh, uh, great, cool. That was Mason just looks more pissed than even winning the match. I don't know, it looks like he's talking to himself and shit. I don't know, I, I don't know if Cave said something to Mason to like full on piss him off or what, but Mason's absolutely pissed right now. I have no idea. Alright, well either way, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to our main E event. That is right. The main Which is to crown a new United States Champion and to see who will also be fighting for that time. No, no, uh, I do not know who's in this match. <laughs> That's a lie. I, I know who's in the match. I don't know what order they're coming out in. It's also semi a lie. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Here it is, the main event. To crown a new United States Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is a gauntlet eliminator match, and it is for the PXC United States Championship. Now, two superstars will start in the ring. Every 30 seconds, another superstar will enter. Elimination can only occur by pinfall or submission. The match continues until one superstar remains, and that superstar will be declared the new PXC United States Champion! There it is. Shitsy! It is a Shotzi. I don't know what that means. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we are seeing a PXT or the newest signee of PXT, JJ Fry. Now I know nothing about him. All I know is that this is possibly his first promotion here in PXT. What does that mean? I have no idea. <laughs> Not to lie, pretty much he's something similar to what Onyx was. Uh, this was Onyx's first promotion here in PXT, and honestly, Onyx has really been fucking stepping up to a whole new level. Can the same be said about JJ Fry's time here in PXT? Can he be the next top star? Can he be 
the first ever, well, not really the first ever, but the new United States champion. No, no, I want to point out, we probably should have done this for the U.S. title at the very beginning. At the same time, though, Mason did lose a title at what to call it, so we felt it was right for it. So, eh. Well, now, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, who is his opponent? Well, who's going to be the second man starting this match off? I don't know who this is, so I don't, I don't know who's going to be starting it off as well. Well, it looks like it's none other than a new signing of BXC, Dustin Chapel. Now, for anybody asks, can we have the like Vegeta shit on? I have no idea. <laughs> so there's a test run. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Now, Dustin Chapel is a competitor in EHW. Well, I guess technically former. Would it be technically former? I don't know. God damn. Okay, just full on like just blasting my ear. AW's very own, yes, Dustin Chapel making his PXT debut, but now the question is, can he pick up the win? Can he become the first ever United States Champion? Okay, who the fuck said yes to all the pyro? Because holy shit, I can't say crap. I just hear boom, 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 boom. Was it you, Jerry? Fuck you, Jerry. Okay. Jerry fucked up shit. Alright, here it is. Looks like the newest signees of PXC will be starting it off, and that's what it's for. The PXC United States Championship. I do also want to point out, this could be very bad for the two, but at the same time, not an over-the-top rope. This is pinfall. So, only way to eliminate is by pinfall. AJ Fry. Dustin Chapel. We're about to see who the hell's going to pick up the advantage, at least to start off the match. But no, every 30 seconds, another man will be entering. Now, I don't know if it's going to halt at 8. It might continue all the way to 10. I don't know. Oh, shit. God, God damn. What? Does he, does he have a baby face? What the fuck? Because he just busted open immediately. Hence why we do not do lead matches. <laughs> that would have been over like that. Oh my god! Fry, I guess, has an incredibly right hand. Bust open, Dustin Chapel. Now, who's the second man in? I cannot see. Okay, beautiful. Big maneuver right there from Chapel. I have to talk about it. Oh, okay, okay, this is not other than the devil. Go, awesome! Devil was apparently in this match, I guess, wanting another championship under his repertoire. Devil, he has actual gold under his belt because, well, he wasn't, well, he was a tag team champion, but here in PXC, he was a TikTok champion. He actually dethroned the Triple Crown champion at the time, Electro. So, hell, I mean, this could be real big or this could be really bad. All right, another competitor is in. I don't know who it is, so I have to wait and see. Oh, it's uh, Rocky Mikado! Well, Rocky probably looking to change his luck here. Uh, J Chapel got absolutely <laughs> the the look, bad luck of PXT continues with suicide dives. <laughs> Double thrown into the ring, and yes, it is technically elimination or not elimination, but fucking weapons are allowed. Chapel getting Fry back in the ring. I don't know who's next. Rocky in. Chapel looking to gain the upper hand here. And now, oh, big maneuver right there for Chapel. And now goes with a pin on Rocky. Really underestimating Rocky. Oh, it's other than Anthony Morales. It's number five in this. Well, a little too strong there. Fry was trying to get the upper hand there. Not getting it. 
Uh oh. Goes over, fly. Oh, sends Devil flying up top. Goes with the pin on Devil. Looks to drop the man out of here. Oh! Dustin, I guess, getting fly out of there. Looks to probably want to take out Devil once and for all. Gets him in a cross face. Is Devil going to tap out here? No! Devil flies him over. Next man in. Oh, it's Draven! Draven's the next man in this. Draven taking a fucking moment. Holy shit. Oh, the devil's trying to go for what's his name? Trying to go for Rocky. Rocky, though, getting the upper hand. Rocky King. Oh, coming back at it. Draven going straight for Macabo. Not getting it. And now, oh, wait, what the? Oh, okay. Devil just somehow just teleported past Draven. It went immediately for Rocky. All right, next man's coming in. Who is it? Oh, god damn. Big ass drop for Rocky there. Now goes for the pin. Is that it for Rocky Mikado in this match? Oh, it's Mike Evans! Mike Evans is in this match. Mike has literally been going crazy as a late with PXC. Now the question is, can he pick up the win here? Rye coming on. Big kicks! Matt already drops Evans. I don't know what happened, Chapel. <laughs> Ch Chapel just. Did he get eliminated already? No way. No, it would have showed. Oh, there's a pin on Anthony. No, nothing right now. Right now, I want to point out this is a free for all at the moment. Kiss goodnight! Oh, shit. I don't know who got fucked. I think it was Mox. Wait, is that Mox? One, two. Oh, it's Mox. Chapel just said, screw you, Mox. And just hit it with a big ass clothesline. Mox is. <laughs> Mox got fucked. <laughs> that's funny. Oh god. Okay, oh, that's that's actually funny. Now I do want to point out with this match, all the decisions have to be made in the middle of the ring. Oh, Chapel was trying to go for sawing. Evans though, not gonna allow him to capitalize from it. Oh, Mox coming with a cheap shot to Evans. I don't know how many people we got. Oh, rolling, uh, running bulldog from Evans. Oh. Big maneuver from Mikado. I don't know what it was. Oh, goes for a pin. Fry looking to take out Morales. No. Morales not having it. Honestly, I believe two, four, six, eight. Yes, yeah, so it is holding off the last two competitors until two more competitors are eliminated. Because I believe we are at the max. So in other words, whoever got the last two have a higher chance at winning tonight. Ooh, shit. I mean, Evan's going to town with everybody with a goddamn sledgehammer. Mox, though, realizes it. Suddenly, hardcore. I just got Mufasa and Franchise in promo chat. God damn it. God damn. Who's going to be the first man eliminated in this match for the United States Championship? I have no idea. Uh-oh. Dabo already coming in strong with big maneuvers. Rocky sends him flying practically. But sends uh, Chapel pretty much just running all the way to the other side, rolling. Evans getting a running start. Oh, gets stopped by Chapel. That will play Farmer. Here's thing. You don't do that to Mike Evans. You don't give him an opportunity. Uh oh. Draven. Oh, shit. I don't know. That was not Draven Bomb, but holy shit. One, two. I believe that was the Butcher's Cleaver. I'm not sure. But holy shit. Draven fucking punishing JJ Fry here tonight. There's a lot of action happening on, like, that part of the ring. I can't see it, so I can't call it. Oh, another big maneuver right there from Draven, dropping Evans. Right now, I'm just going to call what happens with the ring, because in the ring is where it matters. Oh, big fallaway slam. Makato in the ring now, in the mix. Uh oh, I think Rocky was trying to pick up Draven. Uh oh, oh, big brain buster from Fry to Mox on the outside. But again, that focus what's in the inside. Draven bomb to Evans. I think Evans is out. One, two. 
three, and Evans is the first man eliminated in this match. But that means number nine gets to come in. So in 30 seconds, we should have number nine coming in the match. Saving in the first pair, but here's the thing. Everybody needs to get eliminated in this match. There can only be one man standing at the top. Oh, shit. Mox dropping devil hard. Uh oh, oh, I didn't see what happened in the ring. I'm sorry, I was focusing on the outside. I think Rocky might have Fry out. No, Fry kicks out. I don't know if he hit clean actions or not. I don't know what happened. But I think Rocky's now getting a little frustrated here. Was that all 10 guys? It might have been all 10 guys. I'm not sure. Three, two, four. Yeah, where's the other two? What the fuck? That one looking to pin Rocky. Doesn't get it. Huh. For some reason, it's not going to allow the other... Oh, I think the other two have to be eliminated and then... Uh oh! Devil going to straight to hell for Rocky Mercado. Is that it? One, two. No, Rocky kicks out. There it is. Now next person's coming in. Damn, it took a while. Oh, Devil's going to the top, looking to punish Rocky Mercado. It is on hell. Oh, elbow from the top. Oh, it's Jin. Jin is in the mix and he is fresh as hell. Rocky, I think, trying to get a little bit of help from Mox. Mox, though, coming. Mox looking to take out. Devil with Asylum! Is Devil out? One, two, no, Devil's still going. The Wolf Pack in the ring. Oh, now, well, looks like it doesn't matter. It was in this type of match. The alliances are crossed. Rocky looking to take out Mox. I think Rocky realizes Mox is a big threat. Oh, god damn, big pile driver. Is that gonna take Mox out of the equation? One, two, no, Mox kicks out. Damn, hate to see it, but honestly, they both know that they're in this match and they know that there can only be one standing. Oh, Morales looking to take out Chapel in this match. And Dustin Chapel is eliminated. Ozzy, hell, he gave a great performance, but goddamn, it was there's a lot of numbers. It is going absolutely nuts in this match in general. So hell, it's anybody's game. But hell, he he gave a hell of a performance. Oh wait, Morales looking to pin Jin doesn't get it. Wolfpack still in it. I actually don't remember. Did the Wolfpack ever go against the former team of the Unholy? I don't remember. In Holy was a team that Devil was a part of. I do not remember the Wolfpack ever win against them. I do not think so. At least with Devil involved. Draven in the ring. Right now it's All right. Mox and Draven in the ring right now. Oh shit! Big move there. Mox and Draven. Oh, well, Mox going outside. Now it's Jin and Draven. I don't know. We'll see a decision based off these two. Now, no, I do want to point out there is still one other competitor not in this match yet. There he is coming in. Speak of the devil. Who will be the last man in this um, eliminator match? I believe it is none other than Zeno. Yes, it is. Zero is the last man in this match and the most fresh in this match compared to everybody in the ring. So, hell, that could give a high chance of him picking up a win here tonight. Rocky and Zero going toe-to-toe -to -toe at it. Zero. Oh, shit. Zero dropping Rocky. Knee first. Or face first onto his knee. Jin thinking he has double out. One. Two. No, Devil's still kicking. Devil's still going. What is Fry doing? Oh, my God. Holy shit. Oh my god! Drake, I, I just saw Fry just do an avalanche powerbomb on Draven. Oh my god. Draven is out of the match, but holy shit, Fry!
Well, with everything, Mox and Devil going at it. Jin in the ring now. Jin and Devil realizing Mox might be trouble. Comes in with a double DDT. Jin, though, already trying to take the advantage there. Not getting a Devil. A seasoned veteran has held gold in PXC. Can he hold it again? Ooh. Big shot to the gut. Oh, big move from Morales. Drops zero. Devil with a sledgehammer injures Jin as much as possible. And I believe on the outside, another. Oh, shit. Terrible power driver. Oh, my God. Wow. Uh, well, I was about to say Mox is dead, but no, Mox still still good. He will lay it out in the. Oh, my God, dude. The Wolfpack cleaning house. Leave their eyeing. I don't know that I ain't too man. I don't know. My, oh, shit. That's it. Devil's out. That is it. One, two, three. Devil's out. Jin with a fucking brutal ass fucking drop on the top turnbuckle. Devil's out of the match. Honestly, shit. Get it is all right now. We have five men left in this match. The Wolf Pack practically fighting each other. And Jin and Zero. Oh, going at it. On Fry. Drops him. Jin could be the right, fastest rising like champion in PXT. Reason I say that's because he did win the TikTok championship. Uh, didn't did he success? Uh, yeah, I think he successfully defended the first time, then lost it. Oh, gets caught in a crossface. Is Jin gonna tap out? Are we gonna see Jin tap out to the crossface here? No. Gets rolled over. Oh, but Fry coming in with a sledgehammer. Both men dropping them. Fry's fighting desperate again. The Wolfpack on the outside just going at it. Five men left. Oh, what's this? Oh, beautiful maneuver from Fry. Drop zero, but is it enough to take him out of the match? As I said before, zero was the freshest man. Oh, wait. Clean actions. Clean actions from Rocky to Fry. And Fry is eliminated. Honestly, both Chapel and Fry did exceptionally well in this match. Fry, though, with goddamn big ass avalanche powerbomb to drave it of all people. Knew the man needed to go down. Literally risked it all. Ooh. Hit him ahead of Karana. Right now, Zero. Like I said, Zero right now has the highest advantage in this match mainly because he is technically the less hurt man in this match now would that say that he has a clear shot for the gold no oh big suicide dive from Jin dropping both Morales and Mox Jin eyeing Mox hunting him practically oh but Mox getting him with a big rolling close goddamn rolling clothesline just clothesline clothesline sends him rolling there you go that's better oh Wolfpack, Wolfpack again fighting each other once again. Rocky and Mox know the other will go to hell and back just for a title. I do want to point out that Rocky is technically, if he wins here tonight, he will technically be PXC's first triple crown to hold three championships in PXC. So it's actually big stakes actually for Rocky and Mox. Uh oh oh shit big maneuver there and rocky now saving mox from anthony oh mox oh shit i think that was a i think it was homage to gen x there because that looked like an old-fashioned next gen mox dropping both mercado and zero Jin punishing morales morales though not taking it morales has not held gold here in PXT as of yet. Oh, Mox with a snap suplex some Rocky. Zero fighting back. Zero. I mean, hard. Oh, I didn't see what happened in the ring. Morales thinking it's enough to put Jin out. No, Jin still going. Jin still fighting. Ooh. Rocky with the fucking dirty ass fucking drop. Not drop kick. Just brute straight to the face. I was about to say, did Morales get pinned? I got confused there for a second. It looked like he was walking out. 
Five men left. We started with ten. Five got eliminated. Ten left. Cracks forming. No, honestly, I don't think it's cracks forming. It's just slowly them realizing it's for goal. Alliances are not going to be an advantage in this type of match. And they realize that, they understand that, and they trust that. But they know the other man well enough, so they know they will go to hell and back for the championship. Baki has held the tag team titles, the YouTube championship. This could be another title under his repertoire. Him and Mox, the first ever two-time tag team champions. Oh, Morales. I think it was eyeing Mox, but then realizes Jin is still technically a fresh man, and now turns his attention to him. Oh, Mox. What's Mox going for? Mox with a straight jacket! One, two, three, and Morales is out. Oh, Mox saving Rocky! I don't know what Jin's doing. I think Jin was just talking shit to Mikado. Oh, Mox kicks out. Rocky, though. Allowing what happens to happen. He will, again, it follows under that whole thing. Imagine the match. Oh, shit. Huge shining wizard. Oh, my God. Goes with the pin. Is that it for Rocky in this match? No, Rocky's still going. Dude, is Zero and Jin get eliminated? And is this Rocky and Mox? That will be fucking nuts. <laughs> oh, Rocky fighting his heart out. Mox and Zero on the outside. Oh, oh, god damn. <laughs> Mox just threw me the leg of Zero. Just so they can walk over and grab the still steps. Oh! Mox has loved those still steps for the longest time. Oh! Plants! Jin with the mat! Is that it for Jin? Jin kicks out! Oh shit! Well now the Wolfpack are technically working with each other, taking out the other man. Jin sweeps Rocky. Oh no! Could this be it for Rocky? Mercado! Oh my god, beautiful bridge suplex! Oh, Zero and Jin realizing the Wolfpack are the most dangerous in this match. Jin was trying to go Rocky. No, doesn't get it. Big Frog Splash drops. Mox, is that it for Mox? Mox, no way Mox kicks out. I think Mox kicked out. Oh, Rocky. Rocky. Looking to go nuts! It connects! Oh! Oh! The straight jacket from Mox to Zero! One! Two! No, Zero kicks out! I think Mox is confused too. I think Mox thought that was gonna be it. I think that was a straight jacket. I'm not sure. Yes, he has two types of straight jackets. A straight jacket submission, and then this straight jacket. Oh wait, oh god, he's not he's not going for it now. I know. Mox, I think looking to weaken Rocky a little bit there. Whoa, big suplex. And, oh, big springboard bulldog. Right now, Jin and Zito are just trying to dismantle the wolf pack at this point. Zito standing tall. Zito, I, I don't know why he's not going for Jin or, well, actually, I know why he's going for Jin. Jin hit the barricade with a suicide dive. His head hit the barricade, yeah. Oof. Mox and Rocky going. Other side. Oh, Rocky. Oh, dropping Mox again. Alliance is formed for a little bit, but they can drop just like that. Both men are, both men are part of the Wolf Pack. Both men know that they want the gold. They respect each other. They know what's at stake, and they will literally do. Oh, Rocky misses that. Mox going to town, sends Jin rolling. Oh, and Rocky drops Mox. Ooh. 
Again, Rocky, some, it's, it's a bit unorthodox their relationship right now in this match because it's a twist of, oh, god damn, plants Rocky face first onto the fucking mat on the outside. Ooh. Trips Jin, but Jin drops Mox. My god, this match is fucking nuts. We are about to be, I think, at the longest episode of PXT in history. Oh, inverted freaking starter! Jin's in the ring. Uh oh. Who right there? And oh! Both men missing, both men missing. Get Mox put down. Zito, Zito goes under. Oh, Rocky! Stopping Zito's offense! Oh, but Mox with a suplex jumps Rocky! Oh, that might be it for Mox. That might be it for Mox. One, two, three, and Mox is out of the match! Rocky and Mox still show that they care for each other as best as possible. I think Mox just whispered, or I think Mox just told Rocky to win this shit. Oh, another frog splash! Is that another drop Jade in this match? One! Two! No! Jin! God damn, dude, Jin is still fighting! Oh! It is clean! Actions! Is that it? One! Two! Three! Zero's out! It's just Jin and Rocky! It's just Jin and Rocky! Can Rocky make history here tonight? Can he do it? Jin looking to claim a second title in his career here in PXC. Oh, Rocky's up, Rocky's up! It's Jin, it's Rocky! Jin's coming in fast, coming in strong! Oh, Jin looking to capitalize, drops! Drops Rocky right now, Jin has control of the match. Oh, Rocky though, not gonna allow it, not gonna allow Jin! To stay in it any further. Oh, I think it was trying to set him up. Was trying to get him for a big maneuver there. Jin, though. Reversing it. Now comes in with his own. Oh, bridge. Beautiful bridge suplex. Into a moonsault. Is that enough to drop Rocky out of this match? One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match and new United States Champion, Jin. Jin picking up a huge win here tonight. And yes, if anyone's gonna ask, is he bold? No, I think he does have hair. It's just very light hair. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new United States champion. Now, what is that foretold? I have no idea because we're gonna end up see who the number one contender for that title is. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this has been PXT. Uh, if you guys wanna join PXT, we do have a Discord server. You guys can actually hit it. It's in the link of this live stream and or video if you guys are watching, whenever you guys are watching. There's always a link to the server. You guys can actually join there. You can DM me immediately or directly um, that or a message Rocky and or uh, well, he's under Hooded Saber, but we, his name is Shane. Uh, you guys can uh, hit them up at any time. Honestly, it helps out tremendously the show as much as possible because honestly, the show is by far the most fun thing to do. We do this every week, Mondays at 5 p.m. Uh, normally, they don't go this long. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to join, you guys can. It's always a treat to see what new stories we have. Like, hell, JJ Fry, that fucking brutal ass avalanche powerbomb was beautiful. Especially on Draven. And that's how Draven went down. That was amazing. So, want to give a quick shout out to that. Um, but with that said, ladies and gentlemen, this has been PXC. We'll see you guys next week because uh, we got to figure out some stuff for the next show, especially this whole tag team situation because that was fucking nuts. That's the first ever draw in PXT ever. So, I got to see how, what's going to happen with that. But with that said, guys, I'm Cycle Hunter.
PXT. Peace out. Take care. You guys have a great night, and we'll see you guys next week.